who actually loves you? Do you know how hard it is to get rid of that woman? Yeah. Hey, when it come to dating, ain't no holding back. Here to give the game, no cap, so you know the facts. Uh, Steve the Dean, Mr. Lucario, time to show him how it go. Ain't no playing around, get it poppin', yo. April MC in the chat, you know she gon' hold it down. It's the dopest show around, didn't know you know it now. We teaching game, yeah, this is a movement. No need to delay, homie, you gon' have to tune in. Let's go. You don't need to lie. You don't need tricks, pickup lines, and stupid-ass gimmicks. It's weak and shows you think more like a woman than a man. This program will help you get over inferiority, shyness, and lack of self-confidence and feelings of worthlessness. So, if you're ready to change your life and reach your dreams and become the man you want to be, this is the show for you. The bad boy the dating game. What up, what up? We here, we here. We here. What's poppin', what's poppin'? Yes, we're in the building, man. Sitting here chilling, chilling. Uh, what's going on with you, uh, dog? What's up with you? How things going, bro, bro? I'm good, man. Just out here doing what I do. You feel what I'm saying? Making shit happen out here in these streets. You feel me? So what's going on with you, man? We always do in the YouTube streets, dog. What we do, the beautiful thing about us is that this is authentic game, gentlemen. Which must come straight, street game. It's no gimmicks, no tricks, anything like that. So we want to shout out everybody. How's everybody in the chat room? If you want to call in, there's the number to call in. We'll go over reaction videos and answer your questions and things like that, guys. We appreciate everybody in here. And we're going to shout out. I'll also shout out to the first lady, April MC in the building. Shout out to April in the building. We'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. Shout out to everybody else coming through. You know what I mean? Let's make it happen. Yeah, make it happen, guys. Got a question? Please put a cue or call in. We love to hear from you and help you while we're here chopping up game. So let's go ahead and bring in the first video we have here, sir. Let's grab it. Got a few videos here. So let's grab this one. We can grab and just go. Here we go. Women want bad boys and why they will always go for the bad guy instead of the good guy. For one, it is human nature for us to chase relationships, people, careers, locations. We tend to value things that aren't easily handed to us. We want to fight for something. Women are also biologically hardwired and programmed to seek the opposite, which is what? Masculinity. If he's tough, if he's mean, if he's direct, he's not as accessible to other women, so a woman wants to change him. You don't need to be toxic to be masculine or to be a bad boy. Take uh, Beauty and the Beast, for example. The Beast was caring and attentive, but on the outside, he was a monster. Uh, bad boys are obviously risk takers, protectors, and thrill seekers. Most of the time with a bad boy, what you see is what you get. He's not pretending to be someone. Ooh, let's stop. Oh, wait, we had to pause right there. The car. Yeah, that's real shit. That's real shit. You know, you know what's funny is a lot of guys, this is the ironic part, right? A lot of guys, they say, well, you know, I'm, I'm just a nice guy. I'm not like that. And, not, you know, how come women can't just, you know, and, and the funny part is the nice guy is the one who's pretending. So he's a guy who's pretending to be a nice guy. And, and if he would just be himself, then he would have more edge. He would have more swag. He have more energy. And so what happens is the bad boy is like, listen, this is who the fuck I am. And either you're with it or you're not. That's that's basically how it works. And so unfortunately, a lot of these dudes, they don't understand this. So they're thinking, what can I do to be what she wants me to be? And then what happens is, is that they get upset at the women because the women use them. And then they're like, yo, you see these bitches over here and these Western women. And that's why I got to go overseas and all of the nonsense. <laughs> but Steve, what's the those of that it's 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 a thing that we have always uh tried to explain to a lot of young men and this is why game is so important because with zag uh, lucario miles 1950 and a few other we are trying to do is we're trying to get you to break the shell of the fake the mask a mm -hmm. lot of a lot of a lot of young men wear masks now because they they're looking at the woman to interpret what they should be as men right when, have the game you don't care what women think or whatever you know what i'm saying we don't, it, well, well, let's grab this call real quick as we're talking area code uh, anonymous what's your name what's your question sir what's up 
Anonymous going once, anonymous going twice. All right, fix your phone, call back, sir. Okay, not hear you. But anyway, uh, as I was saying before, the thing is, is that we want to always make sure that, uh, and we say to all you guys out there, it's, it's very important to be yourself. And it, and it doesn't matter what it is you do for a living that doesn't define you. What he's trying to say is, is that the what women don't get, Lucario, is real men. They mm -hmm. get fake they get fake guys trying to pretend to be something versus actually be real. But what say you on that, Lucario? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, a, a lot of these guys, what they do is they pretend because they don't think that who they really are is enough. So that's that's really where it all comes from. Like a lot of guys want to be something that they're not um, to gain access to women because they think who they are can't they they can't gain access to women by who they are, and that's right. that's what makes them. The, the nice guy is because they're like, well, let me see what I can do, say, uh, you know, and, and make happen in order for this woman to to jump on this situation. And it's like, bro, y'all fucking up because the woman could tell that you're not, you know, that guy that she wants to be with. So she'll, she'll either reject you or she'll get with you and use you. And it's funny is that the rejection is better than being used. A lot of guys get mad when a woman rejected them. I'm like, yo, you should be thanking these women because they could have just used you. <laughs> it's like, God, they, yeah, they could have, they could have, hey, hey, guys, they could have used you, but what we always, we always try to tell you guys is that women have game, and no matter what you are and how you move, you can be a mark. Now, well, that, uh, Carl, you said mark, but I have to show this now because you, this is a great segue to show you what a mark looks like. What is, what does it look like when you don't have game? And you think you have game, and you meet a woman who has game, runs you as a mark. This is how it looks, uh, Lucario. Let's let me just open this up real quick before we get back. But this is how it looks right here, Lucario. Let me let me go ahead and post. Alice on fire. That's what it looks like when you when a mark notices that you don't have game, and you sleep with her the first night. And you take her and you spend money on her and you nut up in her. And then on top of that, you make her meet your mom. That's what women do. The car, fuck you, the car. Uh, women often wonder why. <laughs> why, you gotta get on, why you gotta get on my boy Fresh like that? Damn. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Fresh. We all fuck that. We gotta keep it up. No, Fresh know he messed up, man. Fresh know he messed up. That's why, that's why I told Fresh, man. I was like, Fresh, man, you gotta get up on this game. It's time. It's time. Get off of that hypergamy stuff. I'm just saying that's what Lucaro's right. A mark. A woman can tell a mark. And a woman <laughs> will want a mark. And a woman will get what she wants from a mark. And it doesn't matter how much you try to tear her down. She is still running the game on you guys. And that's why we tell all you guys, please be careful of not learning or who you're learning from. Because a lot of these guys out here don't have the game. But let's get back to the bad boy as he's talking more about us, Lucario. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Hi. Good guys are being so good. Are they really good? Or are they just, you know, pretending to be good in order to... Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Anonymous, what is your name? What is your question, sir? Hello. Anonymous going once. Going twice. All right. Every time we, we, we just, I don't know what's wrong with your phone. I, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this fucking phone. But yes, as we're saying here, so um, let's get back to what he was saying. Here we go, right? Here we go. To get what they desire. Uh, bad boys definitely have more charisma. It isn't a natural thing. It's because they just care less. They are not as desperate. They don't overthink their approach. They don't try as hard. They speak freely. They speak not desperate, don't overthink. Let, wait, let's pause and talk on that. Not desperate and not overthink. Let's talk about those two things, Zacario. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, uh, the, the thing is most guys who are desperate and who overthink don't believe in themselves and don't know themselves. So you got to understand that all that comes from a, a, a lack of um, faith in who you are. That overthinking, oh, should I have done this? Should I have said this? Should I have made this happen? Should I should I do this now? Should I text her? Should I wait? Should I? And it's like, you're, you're doing too much shit because you don't know yourself. You don't have your own program. You don't have your own structure of how you do shit. So therefore, the reason why you're overthinking is because you don't have things in place already. That's why you're overthinking. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, and, and gentlemen, that's why we love teaching you guys the game because the beautiful thing is, is that you don't have to overthink you. That's what we're trying to tell you. 
You, when you learn who you are, you don't have to overthink anything. You just move off of what you are mm-hmm. and not what you think you have to be. But like he said, overthinking comes from uh, a lot of uh, pressure. There's a lot of pressure for you guys out there that feel like, you know what? I've got to prove myself to the woman, Lucario. I've got to beg the woman. I've got to barter. I've got to get her to like me and all this other stuff. So, gentlemen, so couple what we're saying, man. This is very, very important. Let's continue. Here we go. Speak fluently. They speak confidently. And with that, they also demonstrate experimentation. And that translates into the bedroom as well. So women tend to just be magnetically. Oh, my God. Like I got to pause it. Gentlemen, we all, the way you are outside the bedroom is the same way she's going to perceive you in the bedroom. And Lucario, this is why when those who are good in bed, they don't have to talk about fucking. They don't have to talk about these things because, damn, what do we drink? What, what, hey, look, look, you've been drinking that shit since we've been doing the show. Like, we pause it. The fuck is that? Is that, that a modern rock and roll? What is that? That's that iced coffee. You feel what I'm saying? It's delicious. You guys can get you some iced coffee. It's hot outside now in New York City. You feel me? So you guys. Gotta- <laughs> <laughs> now it's hot. I think last week you said it was cool. Now, now it's hot. Even, yeah, but it's, be- it's better than the heat. You know what I'm saying? So this you guys got to get. April, what, 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 what is this motherfucker drinking, April? I need to ask April, man. What the fuck is he drinking, man? What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> Lucario, so let's talk on the bedroom game and why when you're good in bed, you mm-hmm. don't have to really force sex. What, what's up with that? Yeah, the thing is, you know, you, you, the, the chick you with is going to want it. You feel what I'm saying? She's going to want to do it. She's going to want to make it happen because a lot of guys, see, this is the thing. A lot of guys don't know how much women love sex because they're not having sex with these women. So if, if I wasn't having sex with women, I would believe it too. I'd be like, these women don't like sex. Cause every time I tell them I want to have sex, they keep telling me that let's just be friends. They keep telling me like, let's wait. They keep telling me like, I'm not the type of girl and I need to get to know you and I need to be comfortable and all this other shit. So I would, you feel what I'm saying? Like, believe that too. If I wasn't getting none, April said she ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> But that, that's what happens, man. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, they're, you know, these guys' experience is they don't have experience in the bedroom because they never even get to the bedroom. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, it's crazy. Wait, wait what the fuck? Like, most women aren't two guys with money and a guy who is shredded. What does that even mean? What does that mean? I don't know. You got to call up. Call up. Yeah, call up, big dog, because what you're saying, we don't understand what you're saying. What is a guy that's shredded? I mean, gentlemen, have we not met shredded guys, athletes who are quote unquote shredded that get gouged for money? So what does shredded guys have to do anything? But why are you looking at guys' bodies to determine what you are? That's what I would ask you, sir. Why are you looking at another guy to determine what you are Lucario, not you, but that guy. But why would you look to a, a woman to determine your worth? How does that work? Right, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, 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 call in, call in. Yeah, call, call, call in, big dog, because we can't help you, man. We we can get you off of that bitch ass shit you saying, dog. We got you. We care. Here we go. Be attracted to a bad boy. You're welcome. He said you're welcome. All right. So, uh, all right. What is your overall assessment before we play the next one? That's that's some good information. I think, you know, a lot of guys, I think that the confusion is guys look at themselves as, uh, uh, you know, uh, like they're like, I'm a good person, which that's fine. You should be a good person. Ain't no wrong with being a good, we're we're good people. What we're saying though is is that when we talk about nice guy and bad boy in the context of the game and the dating game, what you got to understand is, is that you're actually being fucked up by trying to be a nice guy because when you're trying to be a nice guy you're being inauthentic when you're being inauthentic that means you're not being real when you're not being real you're basically lying so the thing is is that how about you just be real be who you are and that's going to be way more attractive than any type of nice guy that you're trying to be And and the thing is you being that nice guy means you don't understand the game because what you're doing is you're listening to what women are saying and trying to be what women say they want. And that's the mistake. That's when, that's the reason why nice guys do what they do. They've listened to what women say. The women say, Oh, I want a guy that's going to treat me like a princess. I like gentlemen. I want him to open my doors and give me flowers. So then he does that stupid shit. 
And then the woman, she'll take it at first because she's like, oh, this is nice because I feel like I'm on this pedestal. And then she shits on him afterwards because she's like, this guy's a loser. And that's what happens. Uh, wait, is, oh, it's, uh, it's really, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Let me, let me, before I play that one, let me, before I, that, and let me show this one. You say, I mean, women are attracted to, but, it, but, but, okay, 89. Do you not understand the common denominator in what you're saying? Why are you talking about other men? Mm-hmm. Why are you, why, why do you give a fuck what women are attracted to when they're not attracted to you? Can you look in the fucking mirror and say, what is wrong with me? And why? And the second thing you should be asking is, why am I looking at my interpretation as a man through other men? There, there, there's something wrong. Gentlemen, I keep trying to tell you, sometimes ducks will go to lions to try to learn how to be lions. And they're actually ducks. The game ain't for everybody, Lucario. What say you on this bullshit? That's that's funny. It's uh, he said Fetty Wap, but uh, but this is the thing. Uh, why do you again? Why are you worried about or looking at uh, what women are attracted to when you're supposed to be the one that women are attracted to? You understand? So if you have to look to another guy to say what women are attracted to, that means that you have not been attracting women. Because if you've been attracting women, you'd be like, well, women are attracted to me. So what <laughs> what are you talking about another guy for? You see what I'm saying? If you're, if you, if, if you're, if women are attracted to you, why are you talking about another guy? Right. Wait, 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 wait. It, okay. Understand this. All you guys. Okay. A thought isn't a fact. Right. Your truth is your truth, but it's not your, it's not the truth. It's not the truth. Okay. So uh, let's continue going on. Again, it was a good comment. Beautiful said it's really an unrecognizable version you see in yourself because of his confidence and his demeanor that he is and not what he needs to become. And that's the thing that women recognize in men. And if a woman cannot recognize this uh, 89 or whatever your name is, City Ballers, if she can't recognize that in you, then you're the problem. Um, So... uh, this guy says, would you agree that bad boys and modern women are responsible for pushing men towards the red? How can, okay. Okay. First thing, there is no such thing as a modern woman. Okay. There's no such thing as a modern woman when you're a man. Mm. And what pushes males to men don't go towards femininity. So it pushes males towards the red pill is the fact that everybody like, okay. So what y'all don't understand myself and Lucario have been around since the we're not before now only the internet has started we were before the internet started but we were around before the red pills manosphere's and all that shit that y'all are accustomed to and we've seen it all so mm-hmm. a lot of y'all guys do the same exact things a lot like that that people your age did y'all run towards things that you think represent you right like, run towards white guys because they say well he looks like me he's caucasian so i'm gonna follow him or or y'all will look at a number count or a subscriber count to think well because he has a high subscriber count they know what they're talking about but the one thing that y'all understand is y'all run towards easy y'all run towards excuse you run towards being a victim and and you run towards things that take away or force you not to be accountable for yourself but lakari would say you sir Right. Um, so the thing is, oh, and, and get Delaware Chris's uh, uh, question at eleven nineteen on your end. Okay, uh, I got, I got it. I like it. <laughs> so he's talking about pushing guys to the red pill. So the thing is, um, what what pushes guys to red pill is lack of accountability on the man's part. You understand? So then, what happens is that they look for someone or something to to blame. So the thing with red pill is, is it take is, it takes focus off what the guy did and puts it on the woman. You see what I'm saying? And when you have game, what you do is, is that you understand that the things that are happening are because you create it and you make it happen. So anything that happens between you and a woman is based on how you created the situation to happen. So therefore, if I created the situation to happen, who can I blame but myself? And if I create a situation that happened, then that means that I'm creating the situations to my liking. And that's it. Right. Yeah, you're right. Um, and and that's, and, but again, for a lot of individuals out there, the pickup community 
Uh, okay, people think uh, there's nothing new under the sun, uh, Lucario. Mm. Let me let me show y'all how it works. Just because it's new to you doesn't mean it's new. And I and I want to show you. I, I showed this because I'm doing a premiere on that silly shit of one of your boys. But I, I always show people this right here, and I want them to look at this. <laughs> Who's that guy to the left look like right now to you guys? Come on. So his name starts with the A and ends with Tate. But who do you think it is? So go. <laughs> Don't assume that what you see has not been already created. This was created back in the seduction community, and a lot of people followed uh, Lucario mm -hmm. that person right. because he looked cool, he acted cool, and he portrayed a role that you guys think are brand new. So, gentlemen, there's a lot of people that are going to take advantage of your mind mm -hmm. and thirst of women so please be careful but let's get to the question right here from delaware chris he says um uh what a what a what you mean wait what a wrong, like wrong. <laughs> i'm just i'm just please guys i gotta all right what's wrong with looking at uh, what women are attracted to while doing your thing with adjustments uh don't business do market research before or after say I'm gonna let you go first. This boy. <laughs> so basically, Delaware. This is the problem, right? What you gotta understand is, is that when you're saying stuff like this, what you're doing is this question right here. You're making the game about women. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that because the game is not about women and it's about you, right? We're not adjusting to get women. You understand what I'm saying? We are what we are. And then the women come to us because they're attracted to us and they see something within us that they not only want, but need. It's like this, for example, right? Let's say, let's say, for example, me as a coach, right? A dating coach. And I hear a lot of you guys say this and be like, yo, Lucario, how come you don't be putting out all these receipts? And how come you don't be going out every day on, on the street and be hollering at girls and blah, 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 blah. That would be me doing that for y'all. But what you have to understand is, is that if I'm doing that for all, then I'm not actually giving you the knowledge that you actually need because that's, that goes against the knowledge you need. So what happens is because I know better than the person that I'm teaching, I'm not going to acquiesce to the person that I'm teaching. The person that I'm teaching needs to understand and recognize that they need the teacher. You see what I'm saying? So you're looking at it from the business aspect of, oh, we're doing this for the customers to get money. No, we're not. This, that's not how it works with, when it comes to this game. When it comes to you interacting with women, it's about you understanding that you are it. And because you are it, what's going to happen is you're going to attract. Do you see what I'm saying? So we're not doing it for them. We do it for us. And when we do it for us, they're attracted to us. That's how it works. Right. Uh, here, here is the thing that when you actually learn real game from a, a man like Lucario or a man like myself, we teach you to find a research team, mm -hmm. your research team that can affect change in you, your research team that can cultivate wisdom in you and influence a woman at the same time, your research team that could communicate, show you self-awareness and personality traits. So it's, and then again, the game has nothing to do with the woman. Listen, what a gentleman, get your little crayons out, write this down in your notes. What a woman wants and what a woman needs and what a woman is, is none of my fucking business. I don't care. Mm -hmm. she does all that because remember, gentlemen, her wants and her needs are all the, uh, the, uh, if you add up, she is the basis of every average motherfucker she's been around. So what she wants and what she needs is none of my business, nor is it uh, Lucario's business. And they all have to stop making women the business when it comes to research. Listen, she can, she can be and look and want what she wants. But gentlemen, why would you care if you know you're the man? If I know I'm the guy, why would I give a fuck, excuse my language, what she wants? Why would I care what she needs if I'm that guy? Lucario would say right. you on that. Exactly. And, and that's the thing is that See, the, the, the issue is this, right? So let's take it to a business aspect. So let's say if I'm a business and I, you know, and I sell, uh, you know, like fucking sneakers and shit, right? 
why do I give a fuck about the people that want to buy hamburgers, uh, the people that want to buy T-shirts, and the people that fucking want to buy houses? Like, that's not what I do. You understand what I'm saying? So what's going to happen is I'm going to attract the people who want sneakers. You see what I mean? And so what happens is this, right? A lot of times, the things that you want, the reason why you want it is because the company has told you that you want that shit. They've already they've already put in your mind that they are the shit. They are the best. That's how that's how the game works. So you're thinking, oh, well, let me figure out what these people want. No, they don't give a fuck about that. What happens is that they'll create a, a want, a need, a desire. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's why most of you motherfuckers want the shit. So they'll market it and say, hey guys, oh well, you ain't got the new Jordans. Oh, you need to get these new Jordans. These shits is fire. So now you're fiending for the Jordans and you don't even realize why. You feel what I'm saying? That's how that's how it works. Nicario said a want, a need, and a desire. Mm-hmm. And when you are a student of the game, that's what we draw the woman to do. Right. We make a connection with her where she recognizes that she wants us. And you know what? Her life is going to be her life, but her life can be better with us than without us. They will connect to you when you are a student of the game. Uh, right. Before we answer this question, I want to give a shout out. Hey, you know what? It takes a real man to say this. And Lacar, you clap him for me because. It, 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 and that's why we we we, we do what we do, man. And I'm and I'm dead ass. It, it takes a real person to actually realize that they made a mistake. And you know what? We we really have a number of respect for you. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, and say shout out to you, young man. We yeah. got you covered. Uh, but here's another question right here. It'd be phony if it's really a good guy personality, but he's trying to act. Well, it's your act. See, but that's what I'm saying. We're not we're not telling you to act like anything. We're telling you to be you. Because if you be you, then you will have that bad boy. And en- okay, think about it this way, right? Let's say let's say a woman comes to you and she says, "Hey, you know, I want to go see that new." chick flick this weekend can we do that right and you know you don't want to see that shit you're like hell fucking no we ain't seeing that right so you tell her no but most of you good guy nice guys will tell her okay that sounds okay we'll do that see so what happens is that you're not being honest tell that woman no tell her what you want to do and tell her to follow you that's how you become that guy and also what you do is is that if she's not with it you tell her she can leave but see, some of y'all ain't got the balls to do that. That's why y'all always revert back to the nice guy. Because y'all don't have the balls to tell a woman go. You don't have the balls to tell a woman no. And that's why you're that nice guy, cookie cutter, goofy motherfucker that they're going to take advantage of. Ooh, yes. You know <laughs> yes. So why, But the question is, Junior, the thing that y'all guys miss is that women recognize and know you what the fuck you are with the moment you open your mouth. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this call. Got a call real quick. Let me let me unlock the thing. Uh, area code 50, 502. What's your name? We you call it from, sir. Uh, what's going on, Steve and Lucario? It's Phoenix. Calling from uh, what's going on, Phoenix? How can we help? Yeah, uh, what's going on? Uh, just uh, on a uh, uh, question on the subject. Um, so if you make an adjustment for women or like because of a woman, say like a woman. That's bad. Would, uh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. But then how do you, but I mean, you aren't we essentially, aren't we making, huh? No, you adjust for yourself. <laughs> you don't adjust for a woman. You adjust. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When has the Big Mac adjusted for the customer? When has the Whopper adjusted for the customer? When? Or, or do they say? Nothing. Or do they? Or do they say I'm a hamburger? Let me ask you a question. When women go to the to the store and they see a dress, perfume, makeup, and shoes, do they adjust for the woman, or do they stand there and say, "If you put me on, I'm gonna take away your fucking insecurities"? Right. <laughs> You can put them on and take away right. insecurities. So wait, wait, wait. Tell me when does right. the, when, so when do those products adjust? I, yeah, I, I I completely understand that. But my question is, mm. say, okay, like now, let's say we call in, uh, you all are dating coaches. Right. right. So obviously we knew that there was something in us that wasn't good with women or some were just playing bad with women. So mm. we needed that adjustment with you all to, 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 be, to be better. 
So isn't didn't we kind of do that because of women? No, that's not that's not that's not because of women. So what we're saying is this. What happens is is the adjustment is within yourself. That's not it's not that has nothing to do with women. Women are not attracted to you because you are be let's say, okay, let's say for example, right? Let's say for example you're you're doing a b and c, right? But you are really you are really d e and f. That's what you are. You're really d e and f but you're pretending to be a b and c. So what we do is we knock down A, B, and C and get you to rec- recognize that you're D, E, and F. So then what happens is now that you're down that you're being D, E, and F, now the women are starting to be attracted to you because they're getting to see the real you. But you didn't adjust for them. We made an adjustment within yourself for your own self because now you went from being insecure to being more confident. You went from not believing in yourself to believing in yourself. You went from doubting yourself to trusting yourself. So that's about you. It's not about the women because in all other aspects of your life, those things are still being, uh, you know, um, it's permeating in other aspects of your life, not just women. Do you see what I'm saying? So women are just one part of your life that is that is uh, responding to you being A, B and C. You see what I'm saying? So now that you t- turn into D, E and F, the real you then all these other aspects start to unravel. You see what I'm saying? So it it could be anything. Forget the women. It could be, for example, you trying to get a job or something, and because you're so insecure, nervous, unsure of yourself, you go to an interview, and you just come off as very not likable because you're not sure of yourself. And so, therefore, you're not getting certain jobs because in the interview, they're like, this guy's kind of weird. I don't know about him. Let's let's move on to the next candidate. You see what I'm saying? So forget women. It's going to... It, you know, go through all the other situations in your life. You see what I'm saying? That's what you're saying. So it's kind of like, say, uh, once once we're connected with ourselves, it's like then the light bulb comes on and then the women are attracted to that light like a moth to a flame. Yeah, well, you are connected to yourself in 99% of your life because you do things without feeling and emotions. Right. You, Open the mm-hmm. door. You brush your. Te- I hope y'all brush your teeth today. You you brush your teeth without without thinking. You wash your ass without thinking. You turn on a light switch, or the only adjustment you make is when you put the hot and cold to uh, set set it to the temperature so you can take a shower, right? But you're mm-hmm. thinking for yourself. But because you have you because you guys think women are greater than you, better than you. And everything in between, you're looking up at her like she's a, a god or something, and you got to worship her. So right. we're saying to think for yourself. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's where uh, that's why I need the clarity in because I was I was kind of a little thrown off. I was kind of like I thought that a woman can come along and show us some chinks in our armor, and no, then no, no, we no, have no, to no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. The chink that a woman should see in your armor is I can't get away with anything with this motherfucker. That's the chink. The chink in the armor mm. is uh, this guy, I can't dangle my pussy in front of him and get him to do things. You see what I'm saying? I can't, I, I can't mm-hmm. walk. That, that's what we're saying. That chink she should say. We're saying that we don't make life difficult for women. We just make it simple because we, what you see is what you get. And we don't need to pretend to be anything else. So that means that when you see a woman, you should be the same. If you see her online, uh, if you send her a note on a dove or whatever, when she meets you, you should be that same exact person. Right. Because because you got to understand something is that it's when, when as soon as you make an adjustment for her, you're not a man. You see what I'm saying? You're not a man anymore. It's over. So So the thing is, is that. The ironic part is you're trying to make an adjustment for her, but the adjustment that you're making for her makes you not that man. Do you see what I'm saying? Because in order for you to be that man, you have to stand firm in who you are. You understand? And that's the thing that makes the woman actually want to gravitate to you and get attached to you and get immersed in you because she sees you as that man and she sees you as that rock. So what happens is that a lot of guys who make adjustments, what the woman says is she says, damn, well, he's acting like a bitch because she's the one who's supposed to make the adjustment, not you. She's yeah. supposed to adjust to you. So what happens is this. A woman might be like, you know what? A woman's like, I like to do A, B, and C. 
And then she meets you and she's like, damn, this guy is on D E and F shit. But I, yo, I'm, I'm about to switch to D E and F. Cause I got to get on this train. I, I need to be about what this motherfucker's about. Cause I want to go in this direction. I'm, I'm trying to be follow him and be wherever he's going to be. So now, you know what? I converted from a, B and C to D E and F. I'm going to make the adjustment to fuck with him. So with that being said, when a woman is not adjusting for you. What does that mean? That means she's not seeing you as that man. That means she's uncooperative. That means she does not follow your lead. That means she's not seeing you as that guy. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. She has to adjust, not you. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> because they're not used to making the adjustment. They, you guys adjust to them. Mm-hmm. Just to us. Remember our program, right? Way, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate that, gentlemen. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to call in, and get more clarity on that. I'm gonna right. jump back in. I appreciate right. it, though. Call. I love those great calls, gentlemen. Calls like that, we love that kind of dialogue, gentlemen. Please call in with your questions. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Let's get to. Oh wait, Delaware Quist was kind of. I'm saying what he was saying. Um. Appreciate it. I thought the game was that uh, I wanted like success women traveling my health. What's wrong with wanting to work uh, work out for me? What's wrong with taking women? Have hey, listen, don't hey, 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 look, 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 look. Hey, a, as we as we stated before, if you want to do things the way you want to do them, nobody is going to stop stop you. But if that happens, sir. Do not, do not complain when she takes advantage of you. Do not, do not cry when you are Mark. Don't do that. Uh, Eric code six seven eight. What's your name? What's your question, sir? Hey, how you doing? Um, my name's Chris. Yes, so, Chris. Um, how can we help you? Yeah, yeah. So, um, if if I'm only getting hit on hit on by women that are maybe five and sixes. Is that is does that mean I'm a five or six? And if so, is there? Wait, Chris. Uh, hold on. What do you mean by head on? Who's hitting on you? What, what is hitting on um, you? If a one, if if women approach me that are fives and sixes. No, no. I'm saying are are women approaching you? When's the last time a woman approached you? Uh, you know, when pe- sometimes women approach me, you know, in the grocery store. What do they say to you at the grocery store? You know, just just trying to strike up a conversation. About what? Like what? What are they saying? Give us an example. Um, well, you know, why why I'm buying this and uh, oh, you must be so having a party to tonight you? or that means she wants to fuck you or something? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. You know, just but you know, the women that do approach me are like fives and sixes. But wait a second. Talk. Why do you care? Okay, wait, call her, call her, call her. Let me ask you a question. Okay. You, you go grocery shopping, right? No, I always yeah. tell the story when I was a little kid, when I, you know, I would go down the the cereal aisle based upon the toy that was in the cereal box. So mm-hmm. don't when you when you go grocery shopping, what is an item that you buy? Uh, you know, I'll buy like uh fruit or whipped cream or you okay. know, strawberries. Okay. So or- in the so in the fruit, in in the in the fruit and the Fruit, or let's say the whipped cream aisle. Do they not have different kinds of whipped cream that you can pick from? Yes. So when you walk by the whipped cream aisle, does the whipped cream just jump into your 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 your, your basket, or do you reach no. out and get it? No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a kindergarten because I need you to see this as a whole. So when mm-hmm. you get your whipped cream, does it jump into your basket? Or do you choose to reach out based off of the quality of that whipped cream? You grab it and put it in your basket. What do you do? Correct, correct. Yeah, on the on the quality. That, yes. That, so then yeah. Why would you care about a five or a six that's talking to you when you're not even going for the quality of woman that you want, sir? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, that's not the answer. I mean, that's a question. Why aren't you? Going after the quality of woman you want, and why do you give a fuck about them bottom of the barrel bitches that are talking to you? Yeah, I see your point. Well, no, it's not a point. Oh, wait, wait, call her. This is the thing, though. This is the thing, though. The thing is, I don't believe that women are approaching you. 
I don't either. I think it's a fantasy. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, the car. Wait, wait, car. I think, okay, in grocery stores, the Cario, because I used to do this as a side hustle job as well. So in grocery yeah. stores, the Cario, they have these booths that you can set up. So when people are walking by, you can offer them a sample of something. Like, sir, would you like to try this cheese? Sir, would you like to try this sausage? No diddy. Would you like to try this sausage? You know what I mean? So I'm just saying. Are you giving all these samples at the grocery store? Is that what they're approaching you? <laughs> no, what, you know, they'll just, just randomly talk to me. Like what? That's what I'm saying. Give me an example of what they'll say. Yeah, um, like I said, you know, that just say hi or they'll you know talk about what's what what's in my hand or why i'm buying this or okay so how, how often, okay so how often how often how often does this happen oh i don't know maybe twice a month oh maybe my twice God, month fuck. okay so so are you at are you at any other places where women are approaching you uh yeah, sometimes you know the mall or just just okay. what I saw at the restaurant or what happens in the mall. What happens in the mall? What do they say to you? At the at the bar or something, you know, they'll just say hi. You know how you doing? And, you know, and, and what do you say to them? Strike up a, and what do you what do you, what do you say to them? And I don't. I just re re respond back like logically because I'm not really interested in them. You know, I'm not interested in the way they look. So. <laughs> So, so you, so you're saying you want women who are like really hot to come and approach you? Is that what you're saying? Well, uh, at least to my, at least to my liking, I don't know. It just seems like I'm getting a bunch of, you know, four or fives or. Okay, you know. so, and so, and so, what would happen if you, a woman approached you that you thought was hot? Then I probably would, you know, stay there longer and try to, you know, strike up. You know, keep the conversation going. Maybe ask for a number or. But but what I'm saying, what what makes you think that she's going to be interested in you after this conversation? Uh, I I don't know. That's that's what I'm saying. Like I'm getting hit on. But they're five like, six. Four, wait, wait 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 wait. Are you talking to the car? Are you talking? Are you entertaining these these people? He said no. I said if he if he got a hotter girl to approach him, he said he tried to talk to her. But I said, how does he know that she's going to want him? Because this is the thing, caller. Um, what skill have you developed to interact with hot women, quote unquote? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I I, I can't admit I don't have too much game. I just well, you, you know, don't I have just, any. No, 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 no. You don't. Have, it's not no too much. Okay, it's just simple. You have it or you don't. So you don't have any of it <laughs> <laughs> because a person with game doesn't talk about fives and sixes. So right. We don't talk about barrel, bottom of the barrel bitches, dog. They just uh, don't. this is the thing. This is the thing, uh, caller. This is the problem, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what your what the problem is already, and then we're gonna I'm gonna tell you the solution. So this is the problem already. Even if I was to throw the baddest bitch at you, you would still fuck it up. You know why? What is that? Because you in your mind have already put women on a pedestal. So you're going to think because she's bad, she's special. There's something different about her. There's something more interesting about her. And you, and you, the reason why you think this <clears throat> is because you look at other women as fours and fives. So that means you have a ranking system about women based on looks. And so because you have a ranking system based on looks, that means that you are going to act differently based on looks because you just said the fours and fives you didn't even want to talk to them but then you said if you had a hot chick approach you you would talk to her correct C correct right so that means you're acting different based on how a woman looks right 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 so that means you've already lost right and even if we gave you a beautiful woman that wanted to fuck you you know why you would fail yeah, I, could, I, I wouldn't know what to say. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to how to end up. Hey, oh, there we go. I love it. <laughs> a plus, 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 plus. But Lucario, how can we help him solve this by him doing what? Right. You got you to gotta get coaching, brother. This is what we tell you. It's all, yeah. man. That's what we tell y'all, man. Oh, but listen, you got to listen. I understand where you're coming from. And listen, your honesty, a lot of guys wouldn't even do that. They would lie. We would play the music on them, but you right. were honest today. And I give you credit. It's just that you got to realize, just like the the cream, you choose what you want based off of how it's the quality is to you, sir. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's the same thing with the woman it is that, you know what? You don't wait for a woman to jump in your basket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come to you. You go after what you want and just stand on who you are. Just do that with the cream, with the women. Just don't look at her like cream. I mean, they can cream. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying that you want to talk to her and go over there because you want to see what kind of quality she has beyond the ass and titties. Cause caller didn't did, have you not seen any hot women in like the past what you know since the beginning of the year? Oh, yeah, of yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Are you approaching them? I am not. Exactly. Why are you not approaching them? Oh, uh, I don't. They. I don't. I, I would just automatically assume they already had someone that already had a boyfriend. Or Why? Why do you, why'd you assume that? But usually, you know, the hot chicks do. <laughs> There, what is a hot chick? What is a hot chick? Tell me, what is a hot chick? What is that? Uh, to, uh, to, to, to me, it's just somebody that's, uh, that's pleasing to my eyes. Okay, my but wait, 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 wait. To my but wait, wait. But if you looked in the mirror and that person in the mirror was pleasing to your eyes, would there be anything else other? Would there be anybody else pleasing to you? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's not you know it's not only that it's also the, the quality, the personality. How, how do you know quality? Of by, by, wait, wait, you're so, not even approaching them. So how do you know their quality? How do you know their quality when you're that's not even right. talking? Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Come yeah, it's absolutely right. Come See, on, this won't be saying you need coaching because you're gonna be a dude who's gonna get caught up because the chick look good. You feel what I'm saying? Then when she play you, you're going to start turning into the red pill nigga. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to start getting mad. You're going to start getting angry and stuff, dog. And you're going you're to feel right. that, that you know you've been cheated and, and dogged out and all this other stuff. That's all we're saying to you. We don't want that to happen to you. Right, right. Okay? <laughs> so, Mike, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think I probably need to uh, order one of y'all's books well, or, or yeah, the video. Just, yeah, we we'll just, we'll just soak up the game and just listen, listen. Mm-hmm. This is a form that Lucario has and I have to, you can come in and talk to us. We're not going to be mean to you. We're just going to wake you up. But we do appreciate right. you. We appreciate you. You're on. Right, right. Yeah, I, I appreciate the advice 100%. 1,000%. I appreciate the advice. Yeah, your honesty was great. And, and, and listen, stop watching that red pill content. It's going to fuck you up, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm yeah, serious, you're right. Because you know you've been watching that shit. Stop right. It, okay. Yeah. Yeah. For all, for all y'all talking about the shirt, this is Boss Max joint. Go to uh, BossMaxStreetwear.com. BossMaxStreetwear.com. So get your the teachers at BossMaxStreetwear.com. So shout out to Boss Max. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, caller. We'll throw you in. Great call, caller. God damn, the callers are kicking ass. Oh, shit. The, hey, y'all callers are doing some shit today. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Um, here's something right here. Uh, should I only start dealing with women once I get on the bad boy membership or man mindset? I keep uh, failing and it's going to get any better. To, well, okay, okay. J- Johnny B. Johnny. Johnny. Here's the thing that you're not understanding. You gotta, it's not the women, gentlemen. Get your crayons out. Educational moment here. It's not the woman that you need to face. Right. You got to face your fear of women that you have before you even talk to a woman. See, you guys think it's the woman's fault. She's minding her fucking business, walking and doing whatever the fuck she's doing. She's not bothering you. It is your fear that you have of women before you can even talk to a woman. So you have got to get over that fear first by having an understanding and interpretation of who you are first. But Lakari would say you. Yeah. The thing is, is, you know, you're, you're looking at it in the sense of dealing with women and saying, man, well, what, let me wait for this, then deal with women. You understand what I'm saying? The thing is you don't need to wait on anything, but you just need to understand that it's not about the women. If you know it's not about the women, then there's nothing to wait on because you're just being you and doing what you got to do. Now you come to us because what's going to happen is in most cases, you're going to realize, damn, you know, I'm, I'm making certain mistakes. I'm falling into being, uh, you know, uh, second guessing myself, doing all this other stuff, so we can teach you and help you and coach you. But what happens is, is that 
understand that it's really about you at the end of the day. So anytime you guys are talking or thinking outside yourselves and you're talking about the women specifically, you're, you're, you're already losing at that point. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so Johnny, just, just simple. Think about your daily routine. When you got your wallet today, there was no fear. When you grabbed your keys, no fear. When you turned your TV on, no fear. Uh, you just do it. And that's the, what game teaches you is to be, is to connect yourself, to have one thought, to have one mind and do everything one way, young man. But it was a good question. Uh, let's continue with the question, guys. Lines are open if you guys uh, want to. Uh, what do you mean when you say the game is universal? <laughs> that means that game is everything. That everything falls under the game. You know the game is life. Definitely, absolutely. Area code 954, what's your name? What's your, what's your question, sir? Uh, yeah, this beat Willie. Um, Awesome. Y'all, 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 y'all got on the dude yesterday for telling the girl, um, why don't you come back to my house and uh, we could do uh, some horizontal yoga. I saw nothing wrong with that line right there. Okay, call, wait, Big Willie, Big Willie, <laughs> Big Willie. A big, a big, I'll call you B, BW. I don't, I don't, I don't feel real awkward saying that. Like, okay. So, so if a, if a, if a, if a woman that does yoga and you're asking her to come over to do yoga, is that fucking or is that doing yoga? He said horizontal yoga. No, he, he was specific. Wait, 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 wait. He, well, Horizontal yoga is still yoga. This 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 horizontal positions in yoga. <laughs> a horizontal yoga position for you. I'll be happy to pull one, pick one up for you. <laughs> no, and, way, and, the reason why you, and the reason why you like it because just like you and that other loser you guys are disingenuous you're too chicken shit to ask for what you want because you know you ain't got no fuck game let me tell you something when you know how to fuck you ask for what you want when you got good dick game no uh excuse me uh no diddy there when you got good dick game you don't have to beat around the bush and say bitch ass shit you're gonna put in a buck with her. This is what the fuck we're gonna do, and this is what what's gonna happen. What's up? Well, so, Carl, let me ask you a question. What if she comes over to your crib and all she wants to do is yoga, but you're trying to fuck? Then what? No, come on. The girl knew no. what she meant. No. I mean, the girl. No, 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 no. Call her, call her, call her. This, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Call her. I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm going to tell you why I agree with you. I agree with you because she probably does know what you mean. But what women do is they use your indirectness against you. So she could come over your house, soak up your attention, and she'd be like, okay, let's do some yoga. And then you're gonna, she's going to be doing yoga. Then you're going to try to fuck. She's like, well, she's gonna be like, big Willie, what are you doing? I thought you said you just wanted to do yoga. You see what I'm saying? So she's going to use you being indirect against you so she can soak up attention. Does that make sense? Why are you so scared? Yeah. Why are you so scared? But Steve, you said it yourself that you don't flat out tell a woman, oh, I want to fuck. I don't need you to said that. Wait, 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 wait. You want to know why? Wait, you, you don't know who the fuck you talking to. <laughs> you, want to, you, want to do you understand? I don't need to beg for something that she wants to give me. Why the fuck do I? Why do you think I'm you? I'm not you. I don't, have to, I don't have to beg for pussy because I got good dick energy, big dick energy, motherfucker. See, you all understand. There's a difference between motherfuckers that can fuck. Those that can fuck don't have to ask for it. Women want to fuck us. That's the difference. So I don't have to ask for it, dog. So, caller, this is what you got to understand, right? There's levels to this. So, certain guys. They can't tell the difference between a woman who's playing them or a woman who's not. They can't tell the difference between a woman who's playing games and a woman who's really about it. So what happens is, is that really when you're telling a woman that you want to fuck, that's for you who may not know to not waste your fucking time. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for a lot of guys who don't understand, they need to let the woman know so that they don't get their time wasted by that woman. Do you understand what I'm saying now? If you understand that a woman wants to fuck you, right? You don't really have to say nothing because you know it's going to go down and you know that that's what's going to happen because she's trying to make it happen. She's been trying to make it happen and you're the one dictating whether she gets the dick. But what I'm saying is for the average guy, 
The average guy, what he's going to do is what you were saying is to say, hey, come over for some yoga. And they're not going to know that the woman has no interest in fucking them. But all she has interest in is using you for attention. So for guys who don't know and don't understand it, that's why you got to be direct with them so that you don't get your time wasted and don't get frustrated. See, we're trying to stop you from getting frustrated and becoming red pill because what's going to happen is she's going to come over. She's going to do yoga and then you're going to be pissed off and be like, man, these rest women and these bitches out here be playing games and blah 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 so now what you say to the girl is hey listen come over and let's fuck and she's gonna say you know what i'm not really trying to do that and you say right cool stay home so now you ain't got to be upset and feel like you got your time wasted now what's gonna happen is on the flip side if you tell a chick hey come over and let's fuck if she wants to fuck you she will she'll come over and have sex with you but what we're saying is the average guy is not steve do you see what i'm saying so you can't compare steve to the average motherfucker you can't do it. You can't compare myself what, to Carl what 50 or none of us to you average motherfucker. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. But what I'm, but what I'm saying is if y'all are not direct, how are you going to tell the next man to be direct? Wait, 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 wait. I'm direct. I tell I tell chicks that we're going to fuck. We're, we're di- who says we're not direct? We're, di- we're direct in everything we do. What are you talking about? But Steve, you don't you don't okay, Steve. Okay, you don't well, tell women I want to fuck. So why, why would you tell the next sex? man to say that okay, to a woman? Wait, wait. Uh, because Carla, you don't understand the language that Steve is speaking to these women in. That's the problem you don't get. The level of sex and who the fuck I am that I'm on. I don't need to ask and okay, Carla. I'm so cold. My words can get their pussy wet. I don't need to touch them, take them out. I call her. Listen, I'm saying that I'm so cold in this shit that I want something more than just a piece of pussy. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that I want this thing that nobody's heard before. That's why I said I want to be a landowner. I want land. I want it all. I want to come. I'm just, I want, I want to be an addiction, dog. I want it all. So. I don't need to fuck getting pussy for Lucario and myself and the fellas. That's like getting a cup of water out of, out of our sink. That don't make nothing. No, there ain't no big ass deal. It's <laughs> pussy. But to you guys, I get it. Right. So why do I need to wait? Because I don't ask for it. Why do I need to ask for it? My thinking is, is this. Okay. Because I hey, you'll say some shit like call it because I'm the motherfucker in, in the in, in, in with the game, right? I, the bitch is going to bring the pussy to me. I'm not going to have to. That's how cold. When you get to that level, you don't have to ask for something they won't want to give you. But, Steve, that's like you saying, oh, uh, why don't you come back to my spot so I, I can, um, no. so I can explore your mind on a more no, intimate I don't, level. No, no, no. And I don't ask, no, no, no. I don't need to ask them to come to this spot. I can, I can come to their spot here and make them come from the comfort of their bedroom to make them want to come to my spot without me even having to ask to come to my spot, caller. I don't need to ask him to come over because like Lucario and I would tell you, we turn down pussy. We don't fuck everybody to throw their pussy at us. You can't even do that, caller. So I don't I don't ask women to come over because I don't waste my fucking time. So call, let me ask you a question. Can you tell if you like if you meet a woman, can you tell that she wants to have sex with you? At times. At times. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that means no. <laughs> Can we can we play the song? Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. The car. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why the fuck you lying? Oh my God, why the fuck you lying? Stop fucking lying. He hung the phone up. Oh my God. Fuck. Hey, no one. Turn down your turn down your your thing. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Turn right. Hold on a second. Turn that. Turn, turn, turn the background. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Please turn hey. Okay. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. Wait, yeah, wait, that wait, was, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One second. One second. Wait, wait. Let me. I gotta find. Hold on. I gotta find uh, one thing that was said in the chat room. Okay. Is it? Wait, wait. Let me ask you a question. Is it stunting if it's true? Let me just ask you a question. Is he, he, if you are that good in the bedroom and you get pussy, he, is it actually stunting if it's true? Right. Okay, Carl, what's your what's your question? What's up, brother? 
Oh no, I was the I was the yoga dude that called in Sunday. I just like I was just tuned into the show and they were, y'all was talking about. Yeah, he tried, was, to, he tried to defend your weak ass. That was some bitch ass. Exactly, that was some bitch ass shit. I I gotta be more direct. I can say that. Wait, 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 stop, 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 wait, 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 slow that down, please. Wait, wait, let's slow that down. I said no. What I did, that was some bitch ass shit. I should have been more direct. I'm not saying. I think I'm telling okay. you, dude, that this dude that just That's funny. Even the one that called in admitted he was on some bitch shit. Go ahead, young like, man. You got it. Crazy. Sir. But yeah, I was just saying, like, because when I got off the phone, like, I literally, like, I was heading out to go to the gym. And I was, like, I had that in the back of my mind to be direct. I know you say don't do the gym shit, but, like, I'm not creepy about it. If they say no, they just say no. But I seen this one girl. She's from Spain. And she was, like, she's leaving this week. And I go, I got her, like, inform like, I was talking to her. I was, like, oh, we got to move quick then. And then um, I got her information shit. She came back here, like, the other night. Okay. But yeah, I was just calling in and saying that was some bitch ass shit. <laughs> All right. That well, was it. <laughs> I, I hope yep. he calls back because I hope his pussy ass feelings ain't hurt. We're telling you guys, <laughs> listen, we're, we're, we're trying to get keep you from the red pill. Mm. And, and, the, and the red pill and the manosphere is drawing y'all in because y'all are frustrated and y'all are angry and y'all feel like I don't have to study, I don't have to learn anything, but a woman should give me pussy just off a general principle because I say, let's go fuck. It doesn't work. No, at all. Right. But anyway, and, the, and the thing a lot of you guys don't understand is this is real quick. Is that you telling a woman you want to fuck is not going to make her want to fuck you. It's about finding out the women who don't want to fuck you. Cause a lot of you guys waste your time with women who don't want to fuck you. And so what happens is that that helps you guys to differentiate the women who are going to play games and who are going to waste your time. You see what I'm saying? Cause shout out, shout out to ARC rest in peace. He even said that with Mo one, he was like, listen, he's like telling a woman that you want to fuck is not going to make her want to fuck you. You understand what I'm saying? He basically said that's to avoid women who are going to manipulate and waste your time because a lot of you guys, y'all don't know the difference. And so what happens is because you guys may have um, situations that you're in where you're trying to make shit happen and you don't really have the social skills yet or you don't have the experience to really pick up on things, then you're not going to know that your time is being wasted or a woman is being on some bullshit. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we're talking about. But either way, either way, being indirect, right? Saying, oh, like what you were saying about the yoga thing, what it is is, is that it's a form of being disingenuous. So what happens is that when we talk about being direct, right? There's different ways to be direct, but either way you're being direct because what you're doing is, is that you're interacting with the woman in a way where she understands what the situation particularly is so she can respond correctly. Yep, exactly. You okay. gotta okay. be a friend so that way you don't get, get time wasted. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, anyway, y'all can throw me back in. All right, thank you for the call. Thank you for the correction that you corrected the guy that tried to correct us on your correction that we have for you. But we appreciate you, brother. Exactly. Thank That's you, sir. Problem. Thank you. I hope he, I hope 954 calls in and say, Well, I'm sorry, guys, I was wrong. <laughs> he, he he busted me. I, I I was wrong on the agreement and everything. Okay. So uh let us continue. We have questions, guys. Uh go ahead, call in. Uh, we got to, we asked Johnny, let me see here. Oh, we talked about the universe. We already talked about the, the game. Game is in everything, young man. Right. Here's the point right here. If a woman you're with is doing a lot of things right, but there's one thing that she's not doing uh, uh, that you instructed. You All right, let me, okay, I'm going to ask you a simple question. Uh, let me, I'm going okay, to watch this. So, okay, guys, let me show you. All right, so I, I, I'm drinking Gatorade. All right, guys. So I'm drinking, I'm drinking Gatorade, right? So if this was poison, and I one drop, one drop. Now when I just look, it's just a drop of cyanide poison. What can it do? So if I took a drop of poison huh, and I put it in this thing and drunk it, would I die? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Listen, all everything, man. Fuck that one. You see, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. Move the goalposts because you want some pussy, right? She is not doing everything you instructed she needs to do, then she needs to see that door, Lucario. What say right. you? Bro? Exactly, because dudes be trying to, they want to give excuses because they want the pussy so bad. So let me, let me, you know, rationalize this shit. Well, she did that one thing, so it's not that bad. No, you got to get rid of this situation. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, wait, let me grab a seat. Wait, wait, stop. No, wait, wait, wait. Is it bad? Again, let me tell you, like I told the other woman, is it bashing if it's true? We're not, wait, no, 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 no. 
See, the reaction to feminism is not the problem. <laughs> the accountability away from the men that are creating the fucking shit that we all are having problems with, you dumb bitch. That's hilarious. You, you know, it's funny because he's in Steve Cullen. He's saying uh, bashing red pill because red pill is a reaction to feminism. Red pill is not a reaction to feminism. Red pill is a reaction to not having game. <laughs> that's, that's what red pill is. Women, because you punk ass motherfuckers don't know. Don't hey, 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 it was the same thing they did with the pickup and seduction community, guys. There's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You're welcome. You're welcome, E. We appreciate you, brother. Here's another question right here. He says, uh, How do I not think about, think about the outcome? Okay, okay, you know, I get mad at this word. Okay, caller, <laughs> caller, call all right. Remember, there's nothing new under the sun, right? Okay, caller. So that person here, right? The fake, the, the first, the first Andrew Tate. You know, he's not a lookalike, but he was the first one that invented this. Created a book that looked like the Bible, and then went on the street and tried to learn some shit from melanin people, and called it the game. And that's where you got that fucked up ass word called approaching from that shitty ass book. <laughs> That's where you got that word from. There is no such thing as a cold fucking approach. All right. So the outcome, listen, gentlemen, how many times have we gone to the store and asked for something across the counter? And they say we're either out of it or we don't have it. Mm -hmm. you either order something else or you went to the place, another place where they had what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. Uh, is that is that simple? The problem is most of y'all are looking for women to make you feel good about you. That's what you're looking for. Y'all need women validation. You want women to pat you on the head and tell you that you're cool and sexy and attractive and that they want you so that you can feel good about yourself. That's the issue with a lot of you guys. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, I, welcome home. The more you can start recognizing that the red pill was a transgender metaphor that was said by Lily Wachowski, one of the producers of this shit, you'll understand, big guy, but welcome home. But anyway, let's get to the next question right here. He says, can y'all tell me what a mouthpiece isn't uh, Isn't it having a, a goal in mind during your conversation and saying what you want to say? No, y'all, wait, wait, wait. Y'all just ask questions. What do you do for a living? <laughs> what are you looking for? How was your day? That's not mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. But what are, you, what are you talking about? You don't have a goal in mind. It's just one pussy. I'm sorry, Lakari. Go ahead. See the thing with the thing that people don't understand about mouthpiece is, you know, mouthpiece does a few different things, right? So you know, we take it on a, a you know, as far as like a simple thing, the mouthpiece is just to get a specific point across to get a um, reaction or response based on what you're saying. But also the mouthpiece. Um, is used to influence and to have the woman that you're talking to and interacting with follow your direction and follow your ideas and, and, and be influenced by what you're saying and what you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of guys, you know, they don't have a mouthpiece because they don't have a program. <laughs> so therefore they don't really have a purpose as to why they're saying what they're saying or doing what they're doing. And therefore they don't really get nowhere. You feel what I'm saying? Right, because most of you guys are, are you're not, y'all understand the game. And the thing is, is your mouthpiece leads a woman from a point A to a point B. Mm -hmm. And that means before you even lead her to that point, you know why you're saying what you're saying. If she challenges on what you say, you can defend that position. Mm -hmm. You can, you can stand on the meaning if what you're saying she doesn't like and you'll lose or you don't give a fuck. Right. And you, and you can express it. But you guys don't do that because all you're trying to do is get some pussy. So why don't you just ask for what you want and get the shit out the way? Right. Okay. How uh, how attracted should a man be to... Well, okay. Okay. Here's the thing. We would hope that you are a infinite amount of a percentage attracted to women and you don't like men. So we hope that you like women. That's number one. Okay. But as a man focusing more on cooperation and compliance... Uh, what is the degree in which you recommend being attracted to physical and the sex? Call in, man. I don't understand what you're talking about. Call in, because that doesn't make any... Because, see, you're not a man, and you don't understand cooperation compliance, number one, because you're not even cooperating and having compliance with yourself, number one. But number two, the thing about we always say to you men, you like what you like. Mm. 
like tall women, some like short, some like stalky, some like skinny, some like small titties, some like big titties, some like flat pancake asses, and some like round asses. Every man likes what he likes. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you, sir. So maybe you call in, please, and we can probably help you out. But you're not making any sense right here. Uh, next question we have here. V says, uh, to be in the game is when one is expressing who he is for himself and knowing where it leads him. Lucario? Yeah, well, this is what we talk about. The game is about you. So a lot of guys, unfortunately, y'all miss that uh, you know, understanding, and then you make it about women. And this is why you have the questions about, oh, well, she said this, she did this. How can I get her to do this? And then you're all over the place. It's terrible. Right. right. Is that, I hope that makes sense. But uh, guys, y'all got questions, call in. Let's get to the next video. Let me grab this one. We're doing a reaction, guys. Lines are open if you want to. And, oh, no, it's, it's all respect, guys. And, and listen, uh, uh, VTV, we appreciate uh, the, the questions that y'all are asking good questions and great calls. And as Lucario and April MC said, the truth is always inside of you. Facts, uh, April MC. Uh, let us get to the next video clip right here, gentlemen. We're chopping it up. Uh, let's get to what this woman is saying here. What is she saying? Let's get it. Much to impress me. So when guys see me and they like, oh, she's this, she's that, she does this, she goes here. I've seen her on the red carpet, this place, and the Grammys, that place. They feel like they have to come with a certain state of impression for me, and I find that corny. I would rather the other corny. I would rather the keep it 100, show me the Dude. real you. Don't try to impress me because oh, you think you stop, have stop. Oh, my God. God, oh my God, hold on. Let's go. Hold on, see, this is this is what uh, people don't understand, okay? All right, and what I think is uh, the problem is that when you guys see people on TV, uh, you'll see a, a woman rapper or a singer and you will see, you would think, wow, because she's on the big screen, she's special. And, and you think if you saw that woman, you don't have a shot at her. And it doesn't make any sense, man. The fact that woman was saying, Lucario, and it's not even corny. But what she's saying, corny is, is, is weird to them to actually meet a man that says, I don't give a fuck what you do. Fuck your career. Fuck your job. Fuck how many Grammys you won and fuck how many Oscars you have. You're just a fucking woman to me. Exactly. Right. And that's what he's talking about. The other caller where he was like, oh, I want the hot women to check me out and do this and do that. He's the same type that will meet a woman like that or a woman he thinks is hot, a woman thinks he's special, a woman he thinks is special and treat her differently. And this is and this is what is the thing that turns women off or make women not attracted to you is that that whole idea of putting them on a pedestal based on whatever. It's terrible. Yeah, absolutely. Let's continue what she's saying. I mean, she's really spent some good shit right here. This is a good one. Here we go. I have to. Like, I would rather a regular schmegular take me to a f***ing museum. No. <laughs> take me on a date in the park. Picnic. picnic. Take me Take me roller skating. Like, give me a new experience that I've never had before. Take me to make a clay pot like on Ghost. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. show me some different shit that I've never seen before. That, that and it doesn't before. have to be a first class flight in the trip. All right, they, hey, hey, look, car, like I say, I, I, I take, hey, go get it. I always tell y'all guys, mm -hmm. 99 cent loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. Springtime now. Y'all can feed the fucking ducks. Don't let these fucking women shame you on that shit. If a woman is down for you, she would love to go to the park because it's not the park. It's the motherfucker you in the park, Lucario. Exactly. And this this is what we're saying is a lot of these dudes who be out here tricking and simping, they think they got to do all this extravagant shit. And that's because they don't think that they are enough. This is all of that is coming from you thinking you're not enough. You're like, damn, I need to do this extra stuff in order to be attractive. You feel what I'm saying? Crazy. Yeah, it, you know what's what's amazing is that uh, a lot of you guys are under this false perception of she's special. She okay, so what? You like how she looks, but what is she? Oh wait, hold on. We got a question here. And wait, oh my god, I, I even hate that. I'm gonna just say R G because you know that's some bitch ass shit. <laughs> I heard you say you guys can use her looks to uh, to their advantage uh, with wait with thing wait with. with, with, with 
I say within their game, could guys next oh. year? Right, we'll, get, we'll get to that question after. But let's let's yeah, question quick. Uh, Eric O two O two. What's your name? What's your question, brother? How can we help you? Oh hey, uh, my name's Stefan. Um, thirty uh, from the DMV. I live in Maryland. Uh, we spoke not too long ago. I remember you were telling me about how you used to live out here. I'm from the DMV. But, um, I'm from the DMV. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you're still in the DMV. Yeah, no. So I, I asked a question about um, the degree of attraction, just in the sense that um, I, I feel like you can meet women where you're highly attracted, like you're very enticed by them and enticed by the sex. And then you have women where maybe you're not as sexual with them. Maybe the desire for the sex just isn't where it was with someone else. So let's say someone you can be around her, like, let's say for two hours and no matter what you're like having sex or there's someone where you might you might just maybe be around her for longer and not and like maybe you might still have sex but it's like the inclination isn't is that isn't there to that degree like wait wait wait, wait maybe wait wait. He's, wait, I'm, wait 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 let's let's slow it down slow it down because i because you're all kind of like all over the place big dog what are you saying i'm trying to yeah. understand what you're do you understand what he's well, saying for it sounds like you're saying. So you're saying, do you you're saying what if you like having sex better with one girl than the other? Is that what you're saying? Essentially, like, what if there's someone where the sexual chemistry is crazy, so you're always trying to have sex, but then maybe the other t the other person is just when you feel like having sex. So I was essentially asking, should the sexual attraction be crazy with anyone that you're talking to, or can it just be decent, like? Well, I guess ultimately, like recommendations or I, thoughts on that. Lacar, I don't, I don't see nothing. There's nothing wrong with being sexually attracted to someone. That that doesn't that that's not the problem. The problem mm -hmm. is after that. See, the thing is, okay, if Lacar or I or the, the motherfuckers have real game, we see a woman that we could be sexually attracted to, but because we're outcome, we we still make it about ourselves. When you are sexually attracted, you create what is called a desired outcome, meaning like that woman in the video we were just playing, meaning that you feel that you got to do some extra shit, like slay a dragon or some shit, or you feel like you got to do something extra to try to please her, because as a desired outcome, we, the difference is we're looking at ourselves to move. You're looking at the movement of the woman to determine how you should move, thinking that that can get you some pussy. Well, this is the thing, caller. Let me ask you a question. So, yeah. so with with those two women, uh, who do you like better? The one you having better sex with, or the one that the sex is decent? The as a person, I like the one where the sex is decent. That's the that and that's the that's like kind of the issue. It's like you know, cooperative, compliant. Like if I if I asked her to drop to New York to get me some, she would do it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just like, talking about, talking about, I'm talking about the sex though, because you were talking about the sex. I'm not talking. I'm not. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about. Oh, I'm talking yeah, about. You said, uh, you said one has sex. Sex would be the other woman. Okay, so see, that's the trick question because <laughs> the thing is, is that you're not supposed to like basically if you're. If you're looking at, oh man, the sex is really good. So I like this woman better than this woman, right? Then what happens is, is that you're not focusing on yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, what happens is, is that usually the women that you like better, usually is a reflection of you. Meaning that the woman that I like the most is the woman who is under my leadership. You understand? Meaning that the, a woman who's my woman, you see what I'm saying? A woman that I'm with, like, so, so she's a reflection of me. So the sex within itself, just having sex, that's whatever. And what, what happens is that when you make it just about sex or just something that's just, you know, some regular small shit, that's where you get into, to, uh, to, to problems. So what I'm saying is this overall is look at it in the sense of overall, is this woman relevant? If it's not relevant, then it don't really matter. So if I'm having really good sex with this chick and then this other chick, the sex is pretty decent, they're both at the same level because I'm just fucking both of them. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's whatever. Now, okay. now if we add other things, sit mm -hmm. you. Like ultimately, I have, to, I, have to, I have to treat sex as more of like a mundane activity, essentially. No, it's not as I have to be mundane. What I'm saying is you're putting sex on a pedestal by asking this question. 
That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, it's like, okay, let's take sex out of it. Let's, t- let's, let's, let's do something else. It could be anything else. Let's say you, you, you're, you're, let's say you like to joke and a chick laughs at your jokes, right? So you're like, well, this chick laughs harder at my jokes than this other girl. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So now you're putting the joking on a pedestal, right? But between these two women, they haven't done anything significant for them to even be in a conversation. It, they haven't done anything significant for it to even matter. So what I'm saying is if we go back to sex, this woman you have better sex with than this woman. What I'm saying is those are just two chicks you're fucking. So either way, it doesn't really matter. What matters is, is that if you're dealing with a woman who is a reflection of you and a woman could only be a reflection of you if she's been vetted, if she's if she's actually been cooperative over a long period of time, if she's been listening to your directions over a long period of time, that's the woman that you even take any brain power to even concern yourself with. All that's happened with these two chicks is this one chick you like fucking better than the other. That, But it, but it still doesn't really mean anything. So that's what I'm saying with the, with the question you're asking. It doesn't really mean anything because within this context, it's just your fucking two women. You know, that, so, makes, that actually makes a lot of sense. I actually, I appreciate hey, it. Hey, no, no, so Carl, you, I, I think, no mm-hmm. we appreciate you because, again, unlike a lot of these guys who have questions that we need clarity on, mm-hmm. you call them because you actually wanted to know. So we give you the credit. That was, that was a great... We appreciate you calling in because now you got more clarity over the question because... That's how dialogue works, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, I thank you all again for everything that you no, do. Oh, you. um, Good and then yes. I, I donated Mr. Lucario, but Steve's uh, wasn't up. If you all can put his up, I can. No, man, listen, too. listen. No, no. You, you know what? I'll take the donation of you calling in because you actually wanted to learn. So I appreciate that. I mean, that 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 was more important than a donation because you yeah. it shows me that you actually want to learn, and we appreciate you, buddy. Okay. Max, real yeah. talk. Real talk. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Good call, though. Good call. That was a fucking awesome call. But let me now. When when everything goes up, we always have to have that one that goes back down. Riz, we'll get to you in one second. Hold on, seven eight six. Hold on, one second, seven eight. Let's let's answer this real question. Listen, 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 listen. If you want to do things your weak bitch ass way, then do it. Why are you here? We're not here to put a gun to your fucking head. I don't understand that. Listen, here's the thing: we win, you don't. We get women, you can't. You're not a man, we are. So do it your fucking way. Who gives a fuck what you do? It. Everybody can't be a man, bitch. The card, you want to say anything about this bitch ass shit? We, we don't explain well, anything. The thing is, your way has gotten you to where you're at. That's that's basically what you guys say. So the I want to do it a different way. That's it. The end. Uh, seven eight six. What's your question, brother? How can we help you, buddy? My name is Marvin, age 30, calling from Miami. Good e- good afternoon, Steve. Good afternoon, Mr. Lucario. What's up, Marvin? What's up? What's up? So I do have a I do have a few questions. The first one, I know Steve, you speak about the square. And I wanted to know if the square is a representation of the laws, rules, and codes that I must create for myself. Everything connects to the screw. Think about your the, the, the laws, rules, and codes are the 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 um the screws that tie into the square because the square is not just it's not y- y- y'all guys in y'all head think it's just a square. It is on, it's a deep deep rooted thing that Lucario and I have. Mm-hmm. It's not is it, you you may look at it as a square, but this is who we are at our core. Our core. We we operate off of a a deeper understanding of ourselves that go deeper than the conscious and subconscious level. I keep telling you that the world is only going to show you a little bit of something. It's not going to show you everything. And the way we operate, we are not operating on conscious and subconscious. We're operating on the thing, like I told you, that got us to the egg because there was no, was there any conscious thought to get to the egg? No. No, but it was something that drove you to that egg, right? Yes. And that level of consciousness and that level of thinking is where we're trying to talk. That's where the game is at on that level. So, no, it's not. Don't look at it as a square. It is deep rooted mindset here that Lakaro and I have. But go ahead. Lakaro, did you want to say something to that first question? Yeah. So you were saying you was, what was the question again? Call you somehow. What is the square? Yes. It was the question was, is the square a representation of the laws, rules and codes I must create for myself? Yeah, that's what it is. And so what happens is the problem with a lot of guys is they don't have that. So so therefore women come into their lives and just do whatever. 
And then when when whenever when shit hits the fan or shit just fucking happens that they don't like, they want to blame the woman. But it's really the guy's fault for not having any rules, codes, or guidelines. You know what I'm saying? Right, but you don't have a square. See, this is what here's the thing. Y'all guys talk about shit. We you when you're on your square, you be about shit. So you guys will say, Well, I'm gonna talk to a woman today, and then that'll be my law, rule, and code. And then you see a woman and you fucking nut the fuck up and don't talk to her. See what I'm saying? It's not just, okay, listen, it's not just saying it's a law, rule, and code. It's got to be a way of your life. It's got to be like your either your heart mm. or your lungs, dog. It's a, it's mm. a way of life. We, we die on that hill. We're not going to make that adjustment for anybody. Right. So don't, don't think it's just, well, I'm going to say I'm going to do this, and now I'm standing on my square. No, it doesn't work that way, sir. All right. That makes a lot of sense. And that that you pretty much answered most of my questions. The follow-up question would have been, you know, if is everything that I say and do dependent on the square? And you just broke that down. Um, another question that I had is pertaining to a quote that came from the from the show Shogun. Mm -hmm. And it the quote reads once loyalty begins, it does not have an end. Otherwise, it would not be loyalty. Well, okay, Lucario is loyal to himself, and it, you see what he is. I mean, it doesn't end. The lo see, the loyalty has to be to oneself. Then y'all are not loyal to you. Okay, mm -hmm. how can you be loyal to yourself when you go to content creators that talk about everything but learning yourself? Mm -hmm. so so you're, you're, you're running away from the thing you're trying to be loyal to. So why should that thing be loyal? Why should your, why should your mindset work for somebody that says, fuck you, I'm going to listen to this red pill content guy complain about a bunch of fucking women. So you're not even loyal to yourself. So there won't be any loyalty at all. Lucario, right. Michael, Zag, Miles, and Fifth. We are nothing but loyal to ourselves, and that loyalty expands other doors. But Lakari, what say you, my brother? Yeah, and the thing is, is that you know what happens is that when you're loyal to yourself, that's the way that you can be loyal to other people. Because mm -hmm. what happens is, is that being loyal to other people is an extension of you being loyal to yourself. So the problem is that when you're not loyal to yourself, it's going to be hard for you to be loyal to other people because you don't trust yourself enough to be loyal to yourself first. You see what I'm saying? So how can you be loyal to anyone else if you haven't been loyal to yourself? And that's that's the problem with a lot of people is that, you know, it, 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 it's this is the funny part. So, like, you know, the reason why because uh, people will say shit like like, for example. Right. So I'm not monogamous. So a person might say, you know what? Why, why would a woman be with you knowing that you're going to be with other women? And the reason why is not necessarily just because, you know, they're interested in me. It's because they understand that I'm loyal to myself, which means it extends to loyalty to the woman that I vetted and the woman that's actually in my relationship so that she understands the significance of where she's at with me. So that so then so then there's a thing where she can trust that loyalty. So sometimes even if that woman feels a little jealous or she may doubt herself a little bit in the back of her head, she understands and sees the man that she's with. The reason why most women go to a lot of you guys and be like, oh, I don't, I, you know, I'm not going to be with you if you were with, with other women is because they don't trust you because they're like, oh, you're going to just jump from girl to girl and you're just going to do this and you have no fucking structure. You don't have no consistency. And that's why I don't fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? That's how, that's how it works. That's how it works. Because they, they know that they know that you don't have any type of anything that a woman has to do to get to a certain position. They, they know that you'll just see a fat ass and a pretty face and you'll drop everything for her. And th when they see that, they're like, this nigga ain't loyal. You right. see what I'm saying? And Rosa, it's crazy talking till you get with a pipe hitting man and hit that fucking bottom of yours. I bet you'll change your tune. But go ahead, call it. Are you good, though? We're not talking about cheating, Rosa. We're not talking about cheating at all, but call in, Rosa. <laughs> Let's talk about cheating. Rosa, if you feel that, come on, man. Yes, that... Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. You definitely answered it, and I'll definitely go back and All right, good call, sir. review it. All right, thank you, sir. Great thank call. You. We'll throw you back in, guys. Lines are open. Area code 470, sir. What's your name? What's your question, sir? Hello? Yes, what's your name? What's your question, sir? Oh, uh, yeah, let me cut y'all off uh, in the background so I can hear you. Thank you, sir. Uh, one second. Uh... 
And a woman can do whatever she wants, Rosa. I mean, Ro Ro Rosa, Rosa. Oh. Hold on a second, call her. Rosa, do you understand uh, yeah. that it's going to sound crazy? Uh, Hold on, call, call, her, call her, call her. Hold on. Rosa, do you understand Hello? that Lucario and I forced, we, hey, we see other people. Right. You know what? They don't think that we, we're trying to get rid of them, but we're saying if you want to see other people, go ahead, do it. We, we, ain't, we ain't locking you like that. So, mm -hmm. I don't know what you want. Last time I saw she was going to break. Oh, he's talking this job. Oh my god. So call her, call her. What's up? Oh uh, yeah. Um uh, I was trying I was having a problem with uh telling a woman that I'm trying to fuck. You know wait, what I'm wait, saying? Wait, I don't know what to say. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean what do you what to say? You, wait, 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 wait. You you just said it. How are you having a problem? Wait, when you order a hamburger, do you ask for hot dogs? <laughs> I, I was adding. No, I no, was no, no, adding no, no, no. It's just simple. When you go to a Burger King, McDonald's, or Wendy's, do you ask for a pizza? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I asked for pizza. Well, why then? Why the fuck are you in the hamburger place asking for pizza? Shouldn't you be in the pizza parlor? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I I know how to ask for what I what, want. What? I'm trying to put a little flavor. On no, wait, wait. You can't put. To... Okay, no, 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 no. Let's be honest. I say this with love. We all know your fuck game and your 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 Mac game is not up to par for you to put that kind of flavor on it because you're not that guy. Uh -huh. So the best thing you do is just throw uh, caution to the wind and just say, "Let's fuck." Okay, and, and when when I do that, then uh, they, if I tell them what they want, what I want, they stop texting. Of that course, time. because that's what they do to weird, creepy motherfuckers. So wait, so so call her. So uh what are y'all texting about? Like you meet a woman, you get her now, what are y'all texting about? I tell her like, hey, I I won't say I won't fuck, but I'll tell her like why I walked up to her. What and were you uh to her for? So what? when so when you walk up, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you walked up to her and y'all and you y'all exchanged numbers or you got the number, did you tell her you wanted to fuck in front of her face? Did you tell her that before you got the number? I didn't tell her that. Why? Okay, why not? Why? I don't know. I no, just thought I had to give a more head. conversation. You cut up a whole <laughs> bunch of half. <laughs> Well, like it was want. a woman, it was a woman passing through the airport, and I was like, uh, "Hey, come here!" And then I had a conversation, and I told her, "Give me her number." And then I told her, "Like a conversation when about you what? come back to Stop. Atlanta, she, she said, when you come back to Call. Atlanta, huh?" A conversation about what? It wasn't about nothing. Why? I was just, so she just you had a fat ass wait, booty, wait. and I wanted to. Something when you and I wanted nothing. to stop. Why do y'all guys think you're gonna get something when you are nothing? Nothings have nothing to talk about. Nothings have nothing to say. And all you're doing is saying and doing nothing. But yet you're asking for something. So why? And that's what. And that's wait, what wait, I was calling for. One. I was calling to see so how, how you call her. You shut the fuck up. Why in that cover that boring ass nothing conversation? Didn't you add in that you want to fuck? Why didn't you do that? No, I told her I wanted to meet her at the hotel oh, to explore each other when she came back, and she never texts back. I know, but call her. This is what you're not getting. You have to tell them before you get the number. Okay, think about it this way. Call her. If I met you, right? If I met you, and I said, bruh, I said, bro, hey, give me your number. I'm going to call you because I have a job for you that pays you $10,000 an hour, right? And you say, oh, cool, that sounds good, and you give me the number, right? And then I call you this weekend and I say, hey, bruh, uh, actually, there's a job that I got for you, but it's an internship. And do you want that instead? What, what would you say? Uh, you didn't tell me. You didn't, why did you tell me? Exactly. Oh, exactly. So if you telling women, hey, give me your number, let's hang out or whatever the fuck. And then when you call them, you say, let's talk. Yeah, no, but this is what I'm saying. You didn't say under uh, yeah. caller, caller. Did you say anything about fucking when before you got a number? No, I never said exactly. that. So that's what I'm saying. So when you called her to tell her you want to fuck, she's like, What is this? You didn't tell me this. I didn't continuous. <laughs> you said let's okay, fuck. I said, you, didn't say I, you should 
I said, I'm going to let you enjoy your three days. I got a sp- I got some special instructions for you what that will change your life. She said, what are they? I said, I want to meet you at the hotel Stop. and uh, so we can explore each other. Stop. The special never instructions back. should be, let's fuck. That's it. Yeah, why didn't you say that before you got her number? When you when you met that woman, you should you need to tell her that that time, bro. That's what you're not getting. So so you understand some okay, because you had a nothing conversation with her, right? All right, well, listen to me call her. You had another conversation, and then you want to text her this, which you think is smooth by let's exploring each other. You know when she added up, she took that nothing ass shit that you said and compiled it with this bullshit you put in and it tallied. He is going to waste my time. He is going to he's going to kiss my neck, lick my nipple, spit on my pussy, and give me a minute if I'm lucky of what he considers good dick. And she's like, "No, I can do that with my hands and my dildo because you wasn't oh. honest in the beginning." Also, I was supposed to be honest with oh before I get the number. Yes, motherfucker, what are you talking about? Yes. Okay. I was just making sure I knew what I was oh, doing. Man. I ain't want to be doing the wrong girl, thing. I've been doing this for decades. When have we told you not to be honest with a woman? <laughs> when have we told you to beat around the bush and walk on fucking eggshells? Can you tell us when? Y'all never said that. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You're acting like, oh my God, you, you mean y'all just, y'all, I can be honest? <laughs> I thought it was a special way that you oh, said, you know? <laughs> Not nah, ain't no special way. That. <laughs> Yo, be up front when Wait, you want no, to I didn't know. As a man, be nothing but up front. Has a, does a, okay, has a lion ever been a duck? No. Has a lion always been a lion? Yeah. Has the lion ever changed that he was a lion? <laughs> no. So why would we tell you guys to change who the fuck you are when you don't even know who you are? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my go back to work. Hey, look, look, look. Hang up the phone. Get your ass back to work. <laughs> hey, look at the phone. <laughs> five, five, six. Dude, what's your name? Where you calling from, man? <laughs> five six two going once. Five six two going twice. Five six two will let you go, man. Call back when you when you got your phone fixed. Area code three one four. What's your name? Where you calling from, sir? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, uh, no, just the noise in the background. We kind of hear you. What's up? Oh, okay, cool. I'm about to step up by the restaurant. Hey, listen, so I'm not going to make a a lengthy comment here, but I just happened to be listening to uh, what the previous guy was uh, was saying. And this is no offense to you all, but I think that what may not be clearly communicated to some of these young men is that they need to go on a journey of becoming an interesting man. Like that is going to be, be the biggest it? attractor wait, wait, wait. of the us, type of what, woman what, that they want. And so, I'm, I'm and like, like I said, I'm not going to talk for very long. But one of the things that a lot of these men were please, 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 please. What the yeah, fuck is a journey of manhood? Tell us what the fuck is that? What is the journey? A journey of manhood is finding the things that a man is passionate about, the things that he's able to grow in, being able to grow physically, mentally, and spiritually if that's his thing. Okay, so, so so call her. So how how so how does that how is that gonna make a woman want to fuck you? Because as a man goes on that journey and they grow, these women are gonna become naturally attracted. Oh, or at least the right women what are gonna be pill, naturally wait, attracted to What red pill guy told you that bitch ass shit? Hold on, Rosa, call in a second. What red pill guy told you that bullshit you saying right now? <laughs> That's not bullshit. No, no, no. I'm that is literally. Appeal. I'm asking women appeal because you understand. You talk to motherfuckers that get pussy and gamed up, so we can recognize bitch ass bullshit we hear. It. So what red pill told you that silly ass shit that you listen? You know they tell guys now, don't jerk off, and you have this magical glow around you that a woman's gonna recognize that you don't jerk off and you're interesting. It's the same shit you're saying. Oh wait, call, was it? Was so, it? So, so what you're doing? And I completely understand like your game here. 
is that you, you have to go into game. a sensationalist mode so that people are paying attention you know, to you know, your body. Call her, but yeah. ask the question. Yeah. Call her, call her. Call her. Men, but I think that the men who are actually... Call her, call her. Hold on, hold on. So so you saying you saying Bill Cosby wasn't interesting? Call her, so Bill Cosby wasn't interesting. Yeah, Bill Cosby was interesting. Okay, but then why did he get caught up? In all this? Why was he in jail? Bill Cosby was in jail because he did inappropriate things with women. Oh, so but but, but okay. if he did it, but if he did, if he was interesting, wait, 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 wait if he was interesting, call her, call her. If he was interesting, women who are interesting, then they need to throw themselves at men. That just ruined your point right there. That just ruined your point right there. If he's interesting and he did inappropriate shit with women, right? Would he have? Why would he need to do inappropriate shit with women? If I don't even care about Bill Cosby. No, but that 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 mute that mutes your whole point, bro. That's what we try to tell you. More successful with no, women, no. they need to make sure that they no. grow. Physically, no, no, they go. No, they grow no, with regard to their no, passions. No, they become more interesting no, men. No, no, so that when they no, actually no, talk to these women, they have no, something to say. No, because that's what you were saying no, to begin with. Not, that young man no, didn't have anything no, real to say to that woman. Now, if he grew as a man, no, he would actually no, have no, something no, solid to say no, to her and to no, attract her. No, shut the fuck up and listen. God damn it, you're fucking worse. You're, let me tell you, fuck up. You making everything about bitches. So on that right there, all that shit you saying is bullshit. So shut the fuck up. No, no, no. Up. I don't, I, no, I don't care the about the women. Up. I'm you saying a man needs to become no. a more interesting man You're for himself or whatever. Yeah, call her. Call her. Bill Cosby was interesting. Which you oh, was interesting. was interesting. Financially, is interesting as fuck, right? P. Diddy is interesting, correct? Right? Interesting. I don't care about PDD. I'm talking no, about the men who are in the saying, All the guys we're talking about is refuting your point, bro. What are we trying to tell you? <laughs> Gentlemen out there, make sure that you get your finances straight. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. That you work out and you will naturally attract Call her, call her, real quick, real quick. How, how does finances make a chick want to fuck you? Yeah, how do you find it? It's not even a, no, because all of that has to do what? with how a man feels about himself. The call her. So finances make a man feel something about himself. Is that what we're saying? Naturally attract the women that he wants to attract. Call her. How does finances make you sexually attractive? How did you find it? That's because ridiculous. that makes the man feel better about himself. No, 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 no. Take, for example, a man that's not so, making a lot of money. So, 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 when you don't have money, you don't feel good about yourself. He's going to afford a place for himself. And he's going to feel more comfortable Call sitting on a higher quality of money. You're still making it about the bitch. That's your problem. <laughs> Everything you're saying at the the bottom thing is women. F hey, you're saying hey, get money on listen, a woman. This has you been a fantastic yes, conversation, but I actually have a friend of mine that I'm about to meet. Oh, so hey, I so wish so all so of the people in your comment so section so really well. Shut your fucking ass up. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's goofy. Red pill, motherfuckers. Rosa, is this you, Rosa? Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Is this Rosa? Rosa, we're gonna add hey, Rosa. You said you called in. Hello, Rosa. You're you're on. Rosa, take yourself off mute, Rosa. Rosa, take Rosa. Take your your fingernail and press the mute button. You're muted, Rosa. Rosa, I hear you, Rosa. Talk. I hear you, Rosa. Your phone is probably on mute. Take it off mute. Take your phone off mute, Rosa. I mean, I know, I know, women are not that ignorant, but come on, Rosa. All right. <laughs> Call back, Rosa. Call back, baby girl. Call back. Eric code three two three, sir. What's your name? What's your question, sir? Three two three, going once. Three two three, going twice. Three two three. Yo, hello. Yeah, goddamn. What is up with y'all, <laughs> oh, Yes, man. sir. What's your name, sir? What's up? What's your name? Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Jordan. Um, man, I just want to say, well, bro, can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead. Bro, I don't know. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the phone, but it, it keeps, like, lagging, I guess. But I just want to say, well, bro, was saying it was some straight bitch shit, like bullshit. And <laughs> I was also want to say I really appreciate y'all for teaching me a lot of game and knowledge. 
that uh, has been passed down, you know, from y'all to a young man as myself. And I just want to say this real quick before I go clock in to work. But that was some straight bitch here, bro. Like, as far as going on a journey, man, like, that's cool. I feel like that's just part of life, period, as a man. Like, you should understand that in order to be a man, you have to learn those things. But that has nothing to do with you trying to holler at a woman. That has everything yeah. to do with yourself. Like right. how you said, being loyal to yourself. So naturally, if you just focus on you and so, what you're supposed to be as a man, the women are always going to be there. I, I can, caller, I can tell you what that guy does. And I've seen several guys like him. You know what he does? He will go uh, watch a content creator say, Let's go in a boot camp to go to the woods. And what we're going right. to do is we're going to cut a few trees down. We're going to go to the ocean. We're going to run with the log together. We're going to make right. a fire pit, and we're going to scream and yell, and that's going to be your journey to fucking manhood type shit. They, 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 they all do that kind of shit. And that's where this guy's talking about all this journey shit. That's the problem with a lot of guys out there. They're listening to people that don't know what they're talking about. And that, exactly. And, and this young and this guy's telling, listen, no one's saying don't get your money up, but that's responsibility. That has nothing to do with manhood. And, and and if you're and if you're working out for a woman, you're tricking your money. So exactly. Look over here, what's you, bro? Yeah. yeah, you got a lot of shit going on in the background, bro. I heard mean, all that win. But anyway, but basically the, 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 the issue with the guy that called. What he's doing is the typical looks money status type of motherfucker that don't know nothing about women and don't know nothing about game. So what happens is, is that he's saying you need to get your finances. You got to, you know, look this way and all this other shit. And then what's going to happen is, is that women are going to want to fuck with you. What you got to understand is sexual attraction has absolutely nothing to do with your finances. Oh, your it has nothing to do with it at all. Right, and Rosa, call your ass up. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? You, your, your phone ain't working. But one more time, man. My name is Jordan. Y'all probably get some across me, so I just want to say I really appreciate y'all, and I watch y'all every day. It's just how y'all be teaching me game, and it's even helped me a lot to in my life. So, man, I just want to say keep it going. Thank you, and keep doing what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. Respect yes, to you. Thank you, Rosa. Call in, goddamn it! Stop playing around with your phone, dog. Call in, Rosa. <laughs> Jesus. Man, y'all don't y'all don't understand, man. Y'all y'all have got the y'all got the game all twisted and wrong. But uh, let's see, you got a question here. Oh wait, oh, wait is this, I think this is Ro Rosa. Is this you, Rosa? Hello, Rosa. Finally, Jesus Christ! God damn. So what's going on, Rosa? No, Rosa, girl. What's up, girl? Rosa. Rosa. Oh man, is her yeah, yeah, what's going on? Girl. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I understand. All you iPhone people, hold your phone up a little bit. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Rosa, can you hear us? Hello? Rosa, yes. can Rosa, can you hear us? Yes or no? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes we can hear you. What's up? What's up, Rosa? No, there's somebody else. Rosa, we can hear you. What's what's your question? Okay, Rosa. <laughs> uh, Rosa. Yeah, what is going on? I, I, I usually would tell I would usually would say kitchen sometimes because women like like that's real sexist, but if you don't know how to operate a telephone, maybe you need to get in that kitchen. Rosa, can you hear us? Okay, Rosa. Well, all right, Rosa. We'll let you go. I'm sorry. That was what happens in the iPhone. Guys, fix your phones. Right. Question right here. How right. does finance have nothing to do with manhood? It's response. God damn it! You clown guys, you clowns, uh, you clown guys for staying with parents. Didn't Locario stay home with parents and then with a woman? Let's just be fair. Oh my God! So I got to break down shit for you guys since you're slow. Okay, so now what happened? This is the last time, Rosa. We're not going to, we're going to block you after this. You don't speak. Rosa, are you there? This is the last time, Rosa. We got to let you go. We will block you from this time. Rosa, you got five seconds to say something. We're, the car is about to break some shit down. Right. Rosa, last time. All right, Rosa, we're going to let you go. You can't call back. Go ahead. Right. Okay, go ahead, go ahead the car. You got it. I'm going right. to mute. What you got to understand is, is that finances and getting finances is something you do. It's not who you are. So who you are as a man have nothing to do with your finances because finance is just something that you get by doing some work. 
You understand what I'm saying? That's it. And so what happens is, is that when we tell guys to get out their house, what we're saying is, is that they're not actually doing what they need to do to get out. They're just being lazy. That has nothing to do in particular with us talking about them getting women or attracting women or them having game. We're just telling them as a man, go get some fucking money and get the fuck out the house. You see what I'm saying? But that, that, that has nothing to do with who you are. So when we talk about you being attractive, when we're talking about in particular, you being sexually attractive, right? That has nothing to do with your finances because because women don't fuck you because you have money. Women fuck you because they're sexually attracted to you. And they're sexually attracted to you because you have sex appeal. And you have sex appeal because you have gain. Do you see what I'm saying? So when this guy was calling up talking about, yo, you got to have your look together. And then you got to have money. And then therefore, if you talk to women, they're going to want, no, no, no. They'll look at you and say, oh, okay. This guy has money. He's going to buy this for me. This guy has this. I'm going to use him for that because I don't see anything beyond that. I don't see anything through. I don't see anything, uh, uh, you know, behind all that shit he's giving me. So a lot of these dudes get fooled into thinking I need to have money and f- all these finances to get women. And what will happen is you'll get women who are going to use you for the finances. That does not mean they want to fuck you. And now what will happen is you will get sex from a woman who doesn't want to fuck you, but she's only fucking you to keep the finances rolling in. And then these are the same guys who are going to cry when they're like, yo, these Western women are all gold diggers. These Western women only want you for your money. They want you for the bag. And that's your fault for not understanding game. And this is why you're in the situation you're in. Terrible. Yeah. And also what you understand is Lucario is on a grind. It's one thing to grind and you and you have to stay because of finance or whatever Lucario's situation was. Mm-hmm. But the guys we're getting on are lazy motherfuckers that is a, that are allowing mommy to cut their fucking bread, make their dinner, do their laundry and drive them around the places and they're not doing shit with their fucking life, you dumb motherfucker. Why don't you wake the fuck up and stop trying to compare apples and oranges, bitch, and ask more about you? And Rosa, no, we're not going to answer your phone because you keep bullshitting, Rosa. We're not going to answer your phone. So let's get to the next question. Uh, wait, let's get back to the Riz guy. Wait, let me hang that up. All right, let's get back to the Riz guy. Um, what did he say? He said, okay, so he said uh, uh, with a game, can guys uh, use money and connections uh, within their game? By, okay. Why do you guys talk about something y'all don't, y- y'all, okay, see what happens, Lakari, a lot of red pill guys, even the ones from the seduction community, the pickup artists, y'all regurgitate information like it's a truth. Mm-hmm. Game is not something you should regurgitate because game is only an exclusive thing to an exclusive group of people. So you shouldn't even be saying that word if you don't even understand what the fucking the word is about. But I'm sorry, Lakari, go ahead, man. All right, and so the, the thing is this, right, is... When, when I talk about using your look to your advantage, shout out to Miles in the building. <laughs> see, a lot of guys, shout out to Miles, a lot of guys, you know, you, you see a lot around the internet niggas talking about handsome man game and all that other stupid shit, right? So there is no such thing as handsome man game. There just is game. So now if a woman thinks you're handsome or good looking or whatever it is, right? What happens is, is that you could use that within your game to get a specific outcome going the way you want it to go because you have the understanding that that woman thinks you're handsome, which is why she's responding to a certain way. But within that, you still need to maintain that situation and make it go to where it needs to go. Now, what's going to happen is there's going to be a woman that you, that you talk to who doesn't think you're handsome. Right. So now how do you maneuver in that situation? Then you have another woman who thinks you're handsome, but she's not sexually attracted to you. How do you maneuver in that situation? So a lot of times you guys will understand that game is understanding how to move and how you do what you do. You feel what I'm saying? In all situations. And so what happens is based on your program and your structure, you already have a way to move in all these situations. But the problem is when you don't understand game, what you're doing is you're thinking surface level. That's why Steve tells you, calls y'all surface dwellers. The surface dwellers are always looking at the surface, but they don't understand how deep game goes. Because if you understood how deep the game goes, then you wouldn't think surface level and talk about stupid shit like a handsome man game. 
Because a lot of guys think that there's a, a different game you're playing as far as you being handsome. Then if it's like it's ridiculous, it's terrible. And you got hey, I'm gonna call you false because see, okay, if game works on basic minded women, then what does red pill teach you then? False. What, what do you get as a red pill? Oh, I'm sorry, you get real ass men. You're right, truth. So when you're red pill, you get real men. So I'd rather have a basic woman than be with a real man, Truth. Come on. You, you know what I'm talking about. So let's see here. Um, uh, let, this motherfucker here. As you guys know, I never approach women. Do, well, then, well, shut the fuck up. There's, there's, no, no, there's no cologne game. Because cologne, cologne on a embarrassing bitch is going to be a good smelling, weak motherfucker. <laughs> he said cologne game. Y'all niggas are the worst, man. <laughs> y'all niggas are the worst. Why do y'all try to uh why do you, why y'all trying to break shit up, bro? It's game. Everything is game. Everything is. Like I might as well say, yo, let's talk about uh live stream game. Let's let's talk about uh you know chapstick game. Let's talk about iPhone game. Let's talk about coffee game. Let's talk about sunglasses game. Let's talk about orange hat game. What the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> All right, so see the car. I asked Miles this early and I wanted your perspe perspective as well. If a woman is following your instructions and doing what you asked them to do, uh wait, ask, would you worry about who they're Call, wait, wait. Okay, let me. I, I don't think y'all understand something here. Okay, look, 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 look. I don't think y'all understand motherfuckers that's in the game. <laughs> we want women to see other people because we don't have time to spend all that time with them. And they, 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 that's a, they get hurt and broken hearted. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you understand? Uh, a great. Man named Jebby Dai Lacario once said how hard it is to get rid of a woman right. when you're named up. Mm -hmm. it's hard. So why do y'all care? Okay, listen. If you're the guy, let her go. Mm -hmm. if you're the guy, they let her go off a of free will. Don't hold her down. Don't beg her. And don't try to trick her into being with you. We got a call, but Lacario, what say you on this real quick before we bring the call? Yeah, it is it, is basically this thing, man, is that a lot of you guys are worried about keeping women around. And that's the thing that makes women want to leave you. And that's the thing that makes you less attractive because you're worried about the woman. So when you're focused on you, the woman sees, oh, he's that guy. And that's what makes her want to stick with you and attach to you. But you as a man, you're so focused on your shit. You're like, listen, go do what you do, especially these girls that y'all talking about, not even y'all girlfriends. And y'all be worried about them going out with another dude. It's crazy. Yeah, let them see what the fuck they want to see. Why do y'all give yeah. a fuck? All right, uh, 470, what's your name? What's your question, brother? Hey, y'all's going, fellas. This is Arthur um, from Georgia. What's going on? Good, good, sir. I've um, got a question. Um, I'm having trouble pretty much leading, leading conversations with women, you know, and being more direct. You know, is there what any do you type mean, of, okay, uh, when you say leading conversations, what do you mean by that, sir? Um, just whenever I'm talking to a woman. About what? Know, I put, um, let's say, for instance, like at a date or something, right? I'm not leading the conversation to, you know, just make sure we're flowing and, you know, I have a direction One to go. One cannot have flow with a woman if one doesn't have flow with himself, caller. So you, again, you're making it about you interacting with the woman. The game will teach you the interaction has nothing to do with the woman. It's you. So wait, call. Let me ask you a question. So what do you what do you have an issue with specifically? Pretty much leading the conversation. So, so wait, okay, well, hold on, hold on. So oh, let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. Okay. Now, um, have you have you ever went to a fast food restaurant and bought food? Yes, sir. Right now, why did you go to that restaurant to buy food? Because I like the food over there. Right. So you led yourself to the restaurant and you told the person at the restaurant what food you want and they gave it to you, right? Yes. Right. So it's the same concept. When you're interacting with a woman, you tell the woman what you want <laughs> and then lead them in that direction. Yeah. What's what, 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 is, what do you, okay, caller, you need to call in tonight because I think we're going to do a game time. Uh, you got, we got to do a game time where you could talk to uh, uh, Beautiful and, and see where you're going wrong. Okay, buddy? Okay. 
I'll be, I'll just, do yeah, we'll do a game time tonight. We should, she should be able to do it. So we'll do that while we do our sex show. Okay, big guy. All right, no problem. I'll All be right, there. Thank you for the call, buddy. Good, good question. Thank, thank you for the call, man. Thank you. We appreciate yeah. that. All yeah. right, let's get to some of these questions. We got a question here. Um, God. Fuck, I shouldn't even fucking ask that question. No way. Yeah want yet should you still interact with women to figure it out <laughs> well this is the thing uh okay this is this is the part that's tricky for y'all guys to understand right well, you can interact with women and learn more about yourself through interactions but you should never make it about her and that's the part that trips you guys up. You're like, well, let me let me go in and 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 do this thing with this woman, and 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 make it all about her, and then see how I feel about the situation. And it's like you have to understand yourself. This is why we teach you guys. The game is about you. We have to get you to understand what you really want, what you really desire, what you really want to make happen in your life, how you want things structured. You have to focus on your shit. And then have women respond to your shit. It's that simple. You say, this is it. And then have the women respond to what it is. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Yes. Can you be 100% passionate about multiple things without stretching yourself thin? What, what, what does that even what, what, what does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Yes. It, yeah. Yeah. It's called time management. You feel what I'm saying? If you're going to take action on it. You feel what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wait, Debbie said the word game pisses her off to be real. So Debbie, call in. Call in. Yeah, Tell Debbie, me. call in. Yeah. Why game pisses you off, Debbie. Because you know what's gonna piss you off worse than game? A nigga who don't got game. Because a nigga who don't got game yeah. is the type of nigga that's gonna stalk you. A nigga who don't got game is the type of dude that's gonna be emotional when you break up with him and want to do something crazy to you. A nigga who don't got game exactly is gonna be creepy and weird and is gonna act like a fucking loser and do some crazy shit. So you should love game because if you're dealing with a dude who has game, you're not gonna experience any of that goofy shit. No, Debbie, what you mean is you hate that your pussy get wet around motherfuckers that's gamed up because you have no control <laughs> them, like, them suckers. <laughs> like, stop that, Debbie. <laughs> this chick in the grocery store says she likes peaches. I'm trying to make a conversation about fruit sexual. Can you help me out with my grocery store game? Right, right, motherfucker. <laughs> you better leave that girl. You better leave it. Let that woman shop, man. Leave yep. that woman alone, man. Air code 224. What's your name? We call her from. Hi, it's Debbie. Okay, Debbie, how are you? Debbie, what's going on? So, so I think the word seems like it's a, a game. Wait, 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 Debbie, no. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. You want to know why you love, you're going to love the word game? Because don't you want a man to tell you the honest truth without bullshitting with you? Don't you want a yeah, man? Yeah, but that's the problem. When you say game, it makes it seem like they're not going to tell you the honest truth. No, 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 no. We are teaching a mindset here that falls under the umbrella of something that was going on on the streets. Right. So Debbie, so, so, so game is not about playing games. Game is about being authentic and real and honest. So when a man is talking to you and interacting with you, he's letting you know exactly what he wants. So you can make an informed decision, whether or not you want to get with the program. Yeah, and, and also well, let me not hold on, Debbie. Debbie, and, and grown men calling a game who get pussy I, is is uh, is not embarrassing. And they tell you want to hear, but they're liars. They don't. Wait, really wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Debbie, 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 you're not mm -hmm. talking about men. You're talking mm -hmm. about males. Debbie, I told you a man is going to tell you what the fuck the deal is, and either you're going to be down or not. And either way, Debbie, no, Debbie, listen, no. Debbie, listen. No, because listen. Deb, no, I'm no. not listening. Debbie, Debbie, listen. No. Please, Debbie, get out of your femininity and your emotions and be relax. I'm trying to explain something to you. A real man is going to keep it a thousand with you. This is who I am. This is what I have. This is what we're going to do. And either you're going to do it or not, Debbie, and we don't care. <laughs> Versus a, a loser that's going to say, Debbie, you're beautiful and you're special and you're gorgeous. And all I want to do is fuck you, Debbie. And I'm just trying to figure a way to do it. So which one do you want, Debbie? Well, um. A little bit of both. No, you can't. Dig. No, you can't get both. <laughs> so, Debbie, you you want a guy to lie to you? You want a liar? No. 
No, most right. of is, though, that they are lying. Who's lying? Any of them. Wait, wait, anybody Debbie, that I. Debbie, just because you're around a bunch of okay, Debbie. Here's the beautiful thing. This is the bad news, Debbie. Outside your door is kind of like The Walking Dead. You got nothing but losers out there. And in every yeah, little bunch, wait, in every little bunch, you're going to find what is called a four leaf clover called a MAN. Man, men are very rare in this world. So, Debbie, yeah. until you find a man, you're going to have to glue and paste and Frankenstein what you think is a man. And it still ain't going to be a man, girl. So, you're fucked. So, that's why our boy Ken Zagat says yeah. you got to share us because there are too many losers out there. So if you want to be with the one, you're going to have to get on his roster. You know, even when you're with a guy that says, oh, baby, my, I can do this. Oh, I'm going to do this. But once you start doing anything for that loser, they forget about anything that they said to you. How do you know, so hold on, hold on. Be Debbie, Debbie, this is the problem. So I'm going to teach you some game. Check this out. Check this out, Debbie. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. Check this out. If a guy is ever telling you what he can do for you, He's a loser. A man is supposed to tell you what you can do for him. Exactly. Does that, does that make sense? And we were before Andrew Tate, motherfucker. So please do your homework. Okay. Right. So Debbie, yeah. understand, understand that a man is going to tell you what you need to do for him. So are you prepared to do for a man? Debbie? That's the question. Like what? What is, what is the man going to tell me? Debbie, how, old you? Debbie, Debbie, how old are you? Debbie, how old are you? I'm in my fifties. Okay, well, Debbie, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, listen, no. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna be mean to you. I'm just gonna keep it honest with you, please. It's not. It's not to be mean. But Debbie, look. When, when, mm -hmm. when the time you were 18 to 25, you had a choice. You had a pathway, a crossroad. You could use your sexuality. Now, and, and that guy, I, I was, I was, I was saying this uh, in the 90s. So before an Andrew Tate, but uh, Debbie, I, Debbie, you gotta mm -hmm. listen, Debbie. I, you can use your sexuality to lock a man in and get married or use it to get free things, okay? Now, Debbie, you're 51 years old, so you're just going to have to accept that whatever you get, you should be happy with. Okay, Debbie? I'm sorry. What? You can, uh, wait, wait, well, listen, wait. How, how about this? You, you don't know where I've been. Wait, wait, uh, Debbie, I don't care where you've been. But, but wait, but Debbie, here's the good news for our guys. So for our, our guys, when they're your age, they can still get the... 21s, 22s, and 27 when they have game. See that, Debbie? So this is what I'm saying. It, you, you know, it's, 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 it's just over for you. They all want me, don't matter what age well, no, they no, 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 no. They don't want you. Debbie, stop, Debbie. Nah, nah, Steve, she's right. It's the it's the, it's the the males that want her. Oh, the this is the thing. So this is the thing, Debbie. Okay. I want, I want to help you out because this is going to, this, this, what we're about to say is going to help you out and change your life. So if let's okay, Debbie, let's get use an example. So if Debbie, if I said to you, hey, meet me Friday to get drinks, what would you say? Well, for one, I, I mean, I I don't know. I I don't drink liquor, so I'd rather so I don't know. All right, so let me let me teach you now. Now, this is what I want you to understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Debbie. So did I talk to you on the phone? Debbie, I mean, what's Debbie, the wait, wait, Debbie, here? Debbie, what? Debbie. In order for us to help you, it's going to be hard. You've got to be quiet. Okay? Listen, I'll tell you. So this is what I'm saying. So if I say to you, hey, Debbie, let's meet for drinks, right? What you do is, is that you meet me. Hold on. You meet me for drinks. And even though you don't drink, you say, hey, I'm going to get a water because I don't drink, but I wanted to come meet you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so what happens is that what what women understand when they get really good at being attractive to men is the most attractive quality in a woman is agreeableness. So with the more agreeable you are, the more attractive you are to men, the more disagreeable you are, the less attractive you are to men. So what happens is, is you can be disagreeable to males because males will chase you. A man is never going to put up with you being disagreeable. So what I'm saying is if you meet a man, and you're interested in that man, you have to be agreeable because in order to be with that guy, you have to be agreeable, which means you have to follow his lead in his program. Does that make sense? Well, I think that a man should be able to have. No, 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 no. What you, and I say this with love, Debbie, because I'm not trying to be mean, but what you think has nothing to do with us. 
So what you think a man should do, Debbie, stop doing that. Stop, stop thinking. Don't think. I don't want to be anymore. But, De- me. Deb- well, Debbie, then, Debbie, then find a woman. Then do you want to find a woman? I don't want one of those either. I don't want any. Well, do you have a deal going in your drawer? You so, Debbie, what do you, what do you want, Debbie? What do you want? Talk to us. What do you want, Debbie? I just want freedom from people being liars to me and using Who's, me and telling well, me this. Debbie, you that. Debbie, that, Debbie, that's what we're saying. That's what we're trying to say to you. So, Debbie, that's what I'm saying. So, if a guy, right, if a man is telling you what it is, if he's being honest, meaning, and again, this is what I said, look out for this. A, a, a man, a, a, a guy who is a man is going to tell you mm-hmm. to do for him. Does, does that, do you understand that part, Debbie? Give me an example. What's the example I just gave you an example. I told you to meet me for drinks. But what did you say? Well, I don't drink. I don't do all of that. No, I'm telling you what to do for me. Meet me for drinks. Does that make sense? Okay. You should say, okay. okay let's, let's do the scenario again then. Okay, ask me again. Okay, I say, Debbie, let's meet for drinks at 5 p.m. Friday. Can you make it? Sure, no problem. That sounds fun. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. We're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I don't like the tone, but we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now, watch this one. Debbie, let's meet for yeah. drinks because I want to fuck you. No, dude. I... No. But... You fucking up. <laughs> hey, see? I have. Hold on. That's all I get. That's no, I get. no, That's Debbie, I'm being honest. Uh, uh, That's I'm all being, they want. This is why we try to teach these guys honesty. Debbie, uh, I want to meet dude. you for drinks, and then afterwards we'll go back to your place and my place and fuck. But, well, I guess I'd have to say, well, how big is your cock? I mean, I mean, dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and no, no, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is the thing. You have every right to say no. I don't want you to think you can't say no. What we're saying, though, is is you would say no. To, ch- check this out. You're going to say no to a guy you're not interested in. Just understand that. Yes. So so it's fine for you to say no. Just know that if, if a guy says, hey, come, let's go get drinks and let's fuck. If you say no, that means you are not interested in him. So just understand you're not interested in him because check this out. What's going to happen is this. This is why you get lied to. The reason why you get lied to is because you lie to yourself. So you're going to say, oh, well, I don't want to fuck this guy, but I'll go hang out with him. And then he's going to give you lies. And then you're going to end up doing other things with him. And then when it doesn't work out, you're going to be like, man, this guy lied to me. How come he's lying to me? But he lied to you because you first lied to yourself. You didn't be be honest and say, I want nothing to do with this guy because I'm not interested in having sex with him. You're going to keep seeing him, even though you know you're not that interested in him. So what I'm saying is, is that if you want a substantial relationship, you also have to be uh, honest with yourself. Does that make sense? Right. Oh, well, wait, wait, so Debbie, Debbie, you know what? Debbie, I think. Debbie, 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 I think Debbie, that the problem Debbie, is, is that Debbie, you want Debbie, to get sh- Jackson. All these Debbie, men just want to be my. Debbie, when we raise our hand, that's quiet. Oh. Quiet, Debbie. Debbie, quiet. Debbie, Debbie, quiet. Debbie, Debbie, quiet now, Debbie, ask your question because I want not two birds. I want one stone. Now, Debbie, if I told you to come get some drinks, then afterwards we're gonna go fuck, and you said no. What do you think is gonna happen next, Debbie? He's gonna hang up. Okay, so then he no, 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 no. So I, and do what am I gonna do next, Debbie? I'm after I hang up with you. What do you think I'm gonna do next, Debbie? Look for the next. There you go. So fuck you, Delaware Chris. <laughs> exactly. So Debbie, that's what we're saying. So either you have two, you have two yeah, places. Okay, here. So you're saying to me that I should say to this guy, okay, yeah, I'll fuck you. I'll fuck. You. If you want to. If then I then to. I have to fuck the guy. I don't if, want to well, Debbie, to we're saying if you want to, Debbie, 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 we're saying if you want to, yes, you you don't go with that direction. If you don't want to, say no. What we're saying to not do is don't. This is what I'm saying, Debbie. If you don't want to fuck the guy, don't see him. Does that make sense at all? Or not? If I didn't need him, Debbie. Say it again. See, I just feel like by saying. Oh yeah, I'll fuck you. And then not doing it, I feel like the guy's you gonna. Don't have to, sure, right. You don't have to. You don't have to. You might want to rape Debbie. Debbie. You have the right. right to, you have the right to say. You have the right to say yes, and then say no. Nobody's forcing you yeah, to we're do saying that. that. We're saying that if you if you know already that you don't want to do it, don't deal with that man. Does that make sense? Like off the rip, if he's like, "Hey, let's get some drinks, let's fuck," and you're like, "Oh hell no," 
don't see that man. Don't say, don't say, well, listen, how about we, we get drinks and get to know each other? No, 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 no. Don't see that motherfucker. Does that make sense? Leave him alone. Oh, it does make sense, actually. So okay, there, so then so what's the correct answer? Well, so your the answer is, is that you follow a man that you're interested in. Yes. Does that make sense? Because they all want, most of these guys just want to fuck you, Debbie. That's all. They just want to fuck you. That's right. That's okay. All they want. So, wait, wait. Okay, then. Accept it. Now they now you know they want to fuck you. So whoever you're going out with, realize he wants your puss. Okay? Oh, yeah. So then you can't get mad at him and call him disingenuous if you already know they want to fuck. So what are you, what are you complaining right, let me about? Let ask you this. So should I just get rid of the theory that um, yes. the guys want to hang up? Yes. And just yes, because nobody. Why, the fuck, why, why, would, no. why would I want to? Why would a lion want to hang out with a zebra, Debbie? Tell me, what the fuck are we gonna do? Talk about soap operas, Lifetime Channel? Well, what, pretty why would I hang funny. Out? I think, you know, I I I'd, I'd like to think I'm funny, and no, I, I don't. We don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, we can laugh. Well, we can, Debbie, Debbie after we get done fucking, Debbie, we can laugh. You can say a joke and I'll laugh. After we get done fucking, I'll laugh at all your jokes. But they want to get the fucking done out of the way, Debbie. They just want to fuck so, you. So, so basically, what it comes down to is this. If I ever want to go on a date, I have to know that I have to have sex with this guy. Either I like him you. or not. No, 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 no. no. We're not, you're, you're missing a point. We're not saying you have to have sex with anyone. What we're saying is only, and listen to what I'm saying, only respond to guys to men that you are actually interested in seeing and being with period if they're so and what that means is this if a guy tells you debbie hey debbie i want you to meet me here and do this if you have anything in your soul anything in your fiber anything in your fucking body that's telling you eh, i don't want to do that don't fuck with him that's what we're trying to say so what i'm saying is it should be an a a a a, a, an, an emphatic yes that you want to do this with this man. So meaning you should not question, you should agree. So what I'm saying is if a guy tells you, hey, Debbie, let's do this, you should agree if you're interested. If you are not interested, be like, I'm not interested and never talk to that man again. Do not say to a man that you might be interested in, oh, I know you wanted us to go get drinks, but because I don't drink, can we go get coffee instead? Don't do that. That's what we're saying. Right, Debbie. They just, listen, Debbie. Right. Repeat after me. They all the 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 <laughs> the humans want my coochie. Okay. That's, That's what you gotta, yes. No. What what they really want is my mouth on their penis. Well, whatever That's it is, what they whatever, really whatever, whatever, whatever you put on their penis. Happens, right. Right. But De but Debbie. But Debbie. You, they, ah, oh, well, we've no, got no, to accept that. We got to accept that, Debbie. Okay. Well, the problem is, is that they they get me all excited that they're gonna do this to me and no. that to me, but once. My girlfriend told me, don't ever touch his dick until he does everything then he said he was going to do. your girlfriend is a loser. You <laughs> so how is that, how is that uh, advice been working for you, Debbie? That should, that's why you're lonely. <laughs> I'm not lonely. Oh, yes, I'm you not are, lonely. Debbie. I can feel the loneliness. No. Wait, if, if, we, if, we, if I told no, everybody to be quiet, we can hear them cats in the background, Debbie. Stop lying. I just heard No, right. I got Doberman. Debbie, stop lying. So, disappointed in guys. What no, it's not. No, you're the disappointment because you don't accept that these guys want to just fuck you. You think you're special. What am I? Fucking fuck rag or what? No, you're no, not. Debbie, 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 Debbie. Let me ask you a question. Okay, what do you think makes a man want to stay with a woman or or be or uh, have a woman? You know, in his life, what makes you? What What do you think is the thing? have their dick sucked. No, see, and that's what I'm saying. You see, no, 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 you're off. That's the, no, no, no. You're that's the bare minimum, Debbie. Debbie, that's the bare minimum. Ben, that's the bare minimum. See, Debbie, I'm explaining to you. I'm explaining. Dress me up in this patty or or something, but it's never. I'm sick of it. Always has to come back to the fucking penis. And welcome to the real world, Debbie. Debbie. That's the bare minimum. So what happens is this, right? Check this out. Okay, W, check this out. Let's say, let's say you went to dinner, right? And they gave you steak, potatoes, and broccoli on the plate, right? Now, let's say that the broccoli was spoiled and the potatoes taste like shit, but the steak was good. Which which part of the plate you gonna eat? The steak. 
Right. And then you're going to throw away the rest, right? See, we're just all used women. No, 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 so, so, this, so this is what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, hold on, hold on, Debbie. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand. So it's not that guys just want sex. It's that guys just want sex from women who are not likable outside of sex. So you have to learn how to be likable outside of sex, but you still have to have sex. Does that make sense? Do you, hey, Debbie, have you ever done the pledge yet, Debbie? I don't know what that is. Debbie, you, 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 wait, wait, you're telling me, Debbie, you've never done the Pledge of Allegiance that I have you do? Debbie. I, Debbie no. I've put, only been in your chat. Okay, De like Debbie, Debbie, minutes. Debbie, I want you to put your hand on your heart. Put your hand on your heart. Okay, no, Debbie. Listen, Debbie, I promise you, Debbie, if you say this every day, every hour of every day, I promise you that guy's going to, you're going to find that Mr. Guy. You ready, Debbie? You ready to hear this? Mm -hmm. All right, listen, Debbie. Yeah, I'm ready. Now, now, okay, it's, it's very deep because a lot of women don't want you to hear this, okay? It's very secret. So you ready, Debbie? I'm ready. All right, listen to this, Debbie. Listen, I listen. I pledge allegiance to my man, for he is my leader and my king. Without him, I have no value or worth. I must separate myself um. from the countless others that will be at his feet. I must cook. I must clean. And I must have sex with him at his beck and call. That is my duty. That is my honor. And that is my privilege. Because I'm going after his last name, his ring and his time. I must learn to be more ladylike and submit to his every whim. I no, would you clap that? Oh, you clap that? I'm sorry. You clap that. <laughs> so did, did you hear that, Debbie? You know what? All I got to say to you guys is what? that I have been a, I was a very good wifey and I would bring my husband women. So that didn't work either. It didn't fix the problem. Hey, how, long you, how long were you married? <laughs> my son's leaving. Hold on. Yeah, how, how, how long were you married? <laughs> Debbie. Um, hold on. My son was leaving for work. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we uh, this what? With. I was married. I was married for uh, oh, 23, over 23 years. That's a good marriage. That's a long ass time. What are you talking about? That's a good marriage. That's, that's, a, that's a long ass marriage. My point, my, point, uh, my point of the conversation is, is that I've done all those things. I've worn all the stockings and the high heels and I've let my husband have this woman or that okay, woman or, now find another or, one, Debbie. Or, or, yeah, he Debbie you know what to do then. So then find another guy and do the same thing you did to keep your man for 23 years. Do the same thing. So you're good, okay? So remember, they just want to fuck right now. You just got to get that pussy up or not, Debbie. And you got to deal with the that the world. Guys nowadays just want to have my friendship and they just they respect me so much now. I just well, think so I, that's what I'm saying. You want to you be disrespected. So bring that pussy over here and suck this dick. That's what you want me to say, right? Mm -hmm. Right, that's you. Oh, maybe I you know you wanted to say that, Debbie. Come on, Debbie. You, yeah, Debbie, you want some dick. Debbie wants some yeah, dick. Yeah, I think dick is a gift. Right, but dick is a I gift. You can't earn sometime. dick yeah. from a man, Debbie. Yeah, Debbie. you're right. I just want a Superman that could actually take care of a woman. No, no, nah, nah, you just want some Debbie. Debbie wants dick. Come on, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Bedroom. Debbie wants dick. I, I mean, dick. I literally haven't had. Fun in a long time. I know you want some dick. You so Wait, Debbie, how long has it been since you had sex? A couple years. Oh, my, oh my Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all gotta holler. Debbie, what's what's your what's your Instagram? Let these guys holler at you. That's the question. Enjoyable sex. Oh my god. Debbie, what's the, what's your Instagram? Let these guys follow you and DM me. What's your Instagram? What's your ID? What's your IG, Debbie? I, I'm sorry, I'm old. What does that mean? You're, oh my God! Okay, she she she. Do you have a MySpace? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a MySpace. I'm really, I'm, I'm just, you know. Listen, <laughs> listen. Email Steve on the back end. He'll he'll uh, he'll <laughs> he'll find you somebody. <laughs> oh, fuck that, April. Excuse me, April. Hey. You see that chocolatey brother right there? Ooh, look at that chocolatey goodness. No, don't, 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 don't DM me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Debbie, you you good. Listen, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is just is just find a man and follow his lead. You'll be fine. You feel what I'm saying?
Debbie, we'll let you go, baby girl. Hey, remember, they just want All some right, dick. All okay. right, Debbie. They want some uh, pork. Uh, not a pork. What's your name? What's your question, brother? How can we help you? 904 going once. 904 going twice. 904. All right. So, uh, guys, we're about to wrap this up. Uh, let's see if there's any last questions here. Uh, we got to interact with the woman. Okay, we did answer all those things. And that's yeah, you know what I'm saying, y'all, man. Y'all, y'all, I mean, they, you, they, Delaware is acting like we're trying to fuck Debbie or something. Like, y'all, see, I can't get no ass. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. What? <laughs> What is he talking about? These niggas is wild. Silly ass shit, man. See, I told you you can't get asked by being direct and all this other. Look, look. Yo, tell, <laughs> who said that? Delaware is goofy ass. <laughs> man, it's something in that water, dog. Fuck, it's something in that Delaware water, dog. Fuck, man. <laughs> but, but anyway, guys, man. Uh, we're, last your last question. The texting isn't boring. The person doing the texting is boring. So mm-hmm. the problem is, soap, is that you look at your name. Look at your uh, thumbnail and look at what you're saying and wonder why you're 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 boring, buddy. I say that with love. Y'all, y'all have got to stand on who y'all are, man. Stop stop acting like a bunch of children and be more manly. Mm-hmm. Y'all time. And we do appreciate everybody, guys. Appreciate yourselves, uh, Lacar. What do you have going on? Anything got anything you got going on, brother? Um, yeah, just guys, make sure you go to badboymembership.com. Uh, make sure you guys uh hit me up on Instagram at real Mr. Locario. And um, yeah, we're working on the Game Kings documentary, the Game Kings Part Two, and the shit's looking fire. So, you know, uh, we're gonna, you know, be announcing that soon and all that other good shit. So, you know, just uh keep your eyes peeled for that. And um, yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, we're gonna have our sex show t- tonight, and we will do game time with uh beautiful so y'all guys can ch- test your mouthpieces um with a woman. Uh dog, just ask the question. Just, just okay, you can just ask the question. What is the question that you have? Yeah, what's the question? Just ask the question. Just just, add, just take a moment, type in the question that you have. You can do it. Just type it in, okay? Shout out. We do appreciate the moderators in here, April, MC, and everybody. Y'all had y'all great questions. Really? Great dialogue, man. Y'all did great today. Passing everybody except the dumbasses that were angry, mean, and bitter and shit like that. But uh come on, big dog. You gonna, come on, you gonna ask a question. We'll give you 30 seconds, man. Come on, type your question out. What's your question, buddy? Come on. Yeah, hey, Lord, thank you very much. Yeah, hey, Lord, they think that they, that someone said uh, we look like an Andrew Tate. Or, or what is it, a plastic Andrew Tate? Yeah, man, they don't understand. We, Zacario and I have been around for decades, dog. Exactly. And, Andrew Tate, you know, used, used to watch my shit back in the day. What are we talking about? You got to stop that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, wait, let's see what he says. I always talk to women, but I watched a video saying I have to change something up. Hold to, uh, you mean how to do that? Well, okay, listen, tonight we're going to have game time. Call into our show tonight, and we're going to have a woman on there probably in the second or third hour where you can call in and talk to her. We'll set you up with a scenario, a meeting, setting up a date, going to dinner, or on a date, not dinner, but going on a date or going to her place, okay? And that way we can give you a better assessment of what you're doing right versus what you're doing wrong. Uh, also, I, I Lucario, I know it. I'm, I got it. I'm doing a response video at. Uh, it's going to come up at three or four east uh, about uh, you know your boy right here. I got to. I got to. I got to do. I got to do, do a reply on the reply. Of, shout, out, shout out to Fresh and Fit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? God, man, Jesus Christ. But anyway, for all you guys, we do appreciate all you guys out there. Please appreciate yourselves. We out this bitch, and we will see y'all later on, guys. Y'all take care.